Love is okay.
Wait, Wait I need to use this. He's bad! That was it. Yeah, 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 yeah. This monitor that I have OBS on is kind of fucked at the moment. I can only see every second line, so everything's sort of chopped up a little. So it's a little hard for me to read chat, but I should be fine. I have a new one hopefully arriving on Monday. Fingers crossed. Um, speaking of fingers... Oh, that made everything move. Uh, this is BD1, as you can tell. What is it, citizen? If you've got to travel, by the Nine Divines, stay on the roads. It's the Daedra, you see. <laughs> by the Nine Divines! Assault! Assault! You will for all the same. All flash! And no fury! As you can see, uh, it's dented because oh webcam mic yeah you know what steel series probably one mic that changed over it did it's using the webcam mic for this there we go it's been dented by stinky's fat ass hey skatey how you doing how is your stream Yeah, audio should be better now. Um, well, you Beat declines drop. Oh yeah, nice. Ah! I don't believe Ultraman really has super hearing. Watch. You suck, Ultraman! Ah! Well, Stinky actually hasn't sat on it in a while. Um, so I, I haven't gotten him a replacement box, but what I will do is I won't break the box. I'll simply cut open the side take everything out and if he still wants to sit on it, he can although he probably won't want to because, you know, cats. So, I'll put this on the ground. And if he comes in and sits on it, then he likes it. Is that DC Universe Online? Probably. I have no clue. So, the good thing about having it in bags instead of, um... Whatever I had for the sets, um... Is that it's easy to tell which one I need to do first. Except a lot of these have three written on them. Which... How does that help? Five, six. One, two, three, four. Tell me that you love me more. Three, four, four, five. That's for the BD! As you do. Hydrate, I can try. Is this the numbers for today? You know what? I can do the numbers. We'll we'll do it we'll do it live too. There's all those balls. 
I hope you like balls. Currently the balls at the top are two, six, four, smiley face. Well, that could change. What a lovely sound. Oh, I just realized this is like a pamphlet for the information. It's not like, it's got like a cardboard thing. That's kind of cool. Look at all those balls, chat. You like balls? Yeah, you do. Oh yeah, I forgot I have to do this as well. Oh wait, I have to have the widget visible? Oh wait, hang on, I have to add something. This is fine. Okay. Apparently I'm going to be getting a gift sub from Stream Elements sometime soon. Okay, right. balls. Here it comes. I hope you went with chat's favorite number. I hope you wouldn't forget chat's favorite number, chat. Oh. Oh my. Nobody, nobody guessed three. out sticker for the podium as well which is nice keep that to the side for later because that'll go on last I guess that I just forgot the word vote thing it doesn't count if you don't vote this is a nice thick booklet him oh the little cat yeah page one let me just bend that down so it stays down first things first and we begin by first not doing anything except sorting everything let's sort through the first bag Right, what we got here? A lot of interesting pieces. I think the thing that I like about LEGO the most recently is that they're trying to recontextualize certain pieces to make it like an interesting build, not just try and make it as accurate as possible to the thing that you're building. It makes it kind of fun. Of like, oh, how are they using this piece? Froggy? Yeah, that too. He's gone. Toggle's gone already. Now let me move my mouse out of the way. I'm not gonna need my mouse. Not if I'm doing anything. Hey, 
he's mad. It's different. There's a lot of like pieces that are slightly different to each other. Yeah! yeah! Hey, stream elements, gifts. There it is. Give you a sub to Dusty Scabbard. The sub fairy, I believe they call it. That was the one that I unlocked for doing the thing in Star Trek. Okay. That can go there. We can figure out the rest of me. It's sorted enough. It's sorted enough. Probably. Did that play alert play twice? It might have played twice. Oh, the sound plays twice because it, um, it, if it's gift, it plays twice. Well, it plays multiple times, actually. I believe that means I can delete this now. It doubles when gifted. Okay. So we need one of these. And we need one of these. The building BD1. I'm back. Barry's back. Welcome back, Barry. How was everything? <clears throat> Let me move my microphone. these on the side jump go ahead and jump ah there was another little bag in there all the big stuff can stay there little stuff will go here I forgot that if I hit my desk this is gonna move Just smush it a little so it's easier to, to see what's there. Okay. There was a second little bag. Nailed it. So once we put that one there. I do miss BD. I hope they get to make the third game. I know they've been wanting to make it. It'll be interesting to see when it's set. Because I assume there'd probably be a time skip and it'll be post-Empire. Considering what happens in survival. Okay. Which, man, even though it had all its faults, I still really loved that game. It was great. So much fun. So much charm and character. Hey, first page done. It's our first turn page of the stream. Okay, so we're gonna do this twice. One actor said he would like to play a live action Cal. Oh yeah, Cameron Moynihan is, has always been like down to do live action Cal, which I would love, but also it wouldn't be, <laughs> it, it would kind of be terrible. Um, I don't trust Disney to, I mean, have you seen Ahsoka? <laughs> they don't exactly have a good track record when it comes to putting characters from other things and things. Other than just going, hey, remember this? This thing is the here now. See more post-Empire stuff. Yeah, it's why I really like Mandalorian, for the most part. Because it was fascinated in him. Um, it was a different actor, not Cal's actor. Who was it? Well, it should have been Cameron Moynihan, because he's Cal. <laughs> you can't take Cal away from Cal. This is plain rude. It's his character. Some fucking guy? What was it, Charlie Day?
Eh. Interesting. Even if it takes place in JJ's nonsense, I want a story where I can not think about all these people die in like 20 years anyway. Yeah. That's fair. Alright, put this to the side. We're working purely on this now. Do, do, do. Like I know they I know they're doing um I know that the the Mandalorian and Grogu is going to I I don't foresee it being anything but terrible unfortunately I think it'll be completely inaccessible to anyone who hasn't consumed every bit of Mandalorian media and also watched Ahsoka which no one should watch Ahsoka Unless you really liked Rebels, in which case you're going to clap at anything they put on the fucking screen. <laughs> I clapped! I clapped! I clapped when I saw the thing! I'm still a diehard Rebels hater. <laughs> Till the day I die. I'm sorry. Although speaking of it, speaking of things that I hate that everyone else loves. Make I, a turkey sandwich. I've been making a turkey sandwich. Um, I've been doing my semi-regular rewatch of Doctor Who at the moment. And I've gotten up to season eight. Series eight, sorry. And uh, every time I watch it, I'm like, this time. This time I'll enjoy it. This time I'll, I'll not hate it. And every time, every single time, I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot how horribly out of character the Doctor is written for a lot of these scenes in this series. Like, it's just not the Doctor. He's just so cruel and cold and just uncaring, which is just whew, not the Doctor. As someone who's never watched Doctor Who before, is there a good place to start? Uh, there's several good places. Um, basically, whatever looks good to you. If you feel comfortable what starting with the 2005 series, I, I highly recommend that. But if you watch that and you're like, eh, I don't know, it doesn't really interest me that much. It's, it's probably a bit too old for me, which I know it's not that old, but also for some people, it's too old to look at. Um, Honestly, the, the second best place to start is probably just uh, Shooty's first episode, The Church on Ruby Road. You're like David Ted and Doctor for that reason. He's a kind doctor. That's the thing is like every doctor, every doctor has the, that ongoing trait. Like the, 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 the doctor changes, but there are certain things that stay the same. And the doctor's unwavering kindness is one of those things that is meant to endure through regeneration. But for some reason, it's mainly only in season eight. By season 10, Peter Capaldi gets written a lot better and he becomes the incredibly kind, caring doctor that he is really good at being. But in that first series, 2005 and being old in the same sentence starts. Yeah, yeah, I know. Like I don't consider it old, but for some people, I know every time I look on TikTok and see like kids watching it, it's like, wow, the CGI is shit. And I'm like, it's not bad. There are certain places where like, yeah, it hasn't aged well, but like that's CGI, babe. <laughs> CGI never ages well. <laughs> like, and it's, it's also, it's Doctor Who. The effects are not the best part of Doctor Who. If you're looking at Doctor Who and you're like, man, it looks terrible. Why would anyone watch this? It's like, you're looking at the wrong thing. <laughs> Plus, there are many better instances I could show you of bad <laughs> effects in Doctor Who. Um, but yeah, no, in season eight, he's just so uncaring and cold and cat. My, I, I, I've only watched the first three episodes again. Uh, but in here, 
for, uh, in his second episode into the Dalek, he a character has triggered an alarm system where like floating antibodies are coming to basically kill him. Um, and everyone's like, oh god, what's gonna happen? And the doctor throws him some sort of pill. And he's like, take this. And he's like, oh, what will it do? He's like, just take it. And you, and you, as the audience member, are thinking, oh, he's doing something to save him or something. Um, he swallows the pill and then he gets killed. And everyone's like, what the hell was that? I thought you were trying to save him. And the doctor just goes, he was already dead. I'm trying to save us. Like, no, I'm sorry he's dead, but this, like, there's nothing I could have done. There was no, uh, I'm so sorry that you're going to die. Like, there's nothing we can do. There was just, nah, he was already dead. And it's like, what? What? <laughs> This is not what the doctor would do. I just, uh, that and a lot of, a lot, my other biggest problem with series eight is that a lot of the doctor's agency is taken away and he's made to look like a, he, like a petulant child in order to give Clara agency. And it's, where a lot of my criticisms of Clara come from in the Capaldi era is that her character development always comes, almost always comes at the cost of the Doctor's character. Like in it, like for a lot of her scenes, they feel like in order to give her any sort of like control or agency or any development, they need to make the Doctor look stupid or make him look petty or make him like be this cruel person for her to be like, I'm better than you. And it's like, I, I, it just astounds me that people like this. There's a moment when Disney XD played some David Tennant stuff. I've seen the Disney XD ads for Doctor Who and they are hilarious. I know. I, even though I don't like series eight, it still has two of some of my favorite episodes from uh, the new series, which is uh, Time Heist, which is just a great fun time. I mean, it's called Time Heist. It's exactly what it says on the tin. It's an episode where they do a time heist of a bank. How do you fuck that up? They don't. It's pretty good. Um, and Mummy on the Orient Express, which is also similarly just a really fun great premise. Oh, there's a Mummy on the Orient Express in space. How do you fuck that up? You don't. It's easy. Um, it's great. It's a great episode. I love it. Um, plus Frank Skinner is in it, and I love Frank Skinner. Um, but it's just, yeah, the the the, the rest of the series just yeesh. Plus also Michelle Gomez is amazing. She really is the highlight of that entire era. So these ads back in the day was like what? Yeah, yeah. They're 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 really jarring. But they're also kind of amazing. <laughs> Turn my fan up. Okay. Now I've got this. Okay. Put a little table on it, that looks like. on top but no, I, I will say in my recent rewatch of everything it's I've gotten a greater appreciation of C series 7 especially 7 7 B which I know for some reason a lot of people hate but I don't really understand the hate for it I kind of like it I think it's a great wrap up to 11 zero and I think the Impossible Girl arc, as kind of cheesy as it gets, is perfectly fine and serviceable. Okay, so that's a little bit higher. 
I guess we'll find out why. Okay. More sticks through the wheel. Top and, well, middle and bottom, I should say. I always used to be paranoid as a child putting the sticks through things because I'd be like, is it even? Is it even both ways? You're going to play the wilds open better? I am. Uh, I finish work like an hour after it opens. So I'm going to come home and immediately download it. And I'm going to spend way too long making character. I might remake my rise character because I like my rise character. I don't know how much I'll play of it, because I, I... Well, if, if it all carries over. Maybe a lot. Oh, okay, it wants me to put the second wheel on. And then it wants me to push these through. So there's a little bit on both sides. Does that look even to you? Yeah, it looks even. Make a world and rise character because I made also remade her for Baldur's Gate 3. Neat. Oh, it's not even. More wheels. Oh, wow. They've added like dynamic effects to the the There's like a little like shing for the fucking thing now. That's great. And then this just sits on there, I guess. Nice. Okay. I doubt Dave the Diver just has Bellatra inside it now. Yeah, I've heard. I feel sorry for Barry and Dan. I should also ask, I keep being asked every time I do a Lego stream, uh, how is the webcam? Is it too close, too far away, too bright, too dark? Is it fine? Should it be close? Do you want it closer so you can see the instructions more than anything? Or do you like seeing my, well, I'd say messy desk. It's not as messy as it normally is. I try and keep it clean. Emphasis on try. You know, I'd rather be realistic. You. I should double check that... Okay, cool. Okay, so I want to put these here. This is kind of looking like a water wheel right now. One. And two. This one and then the filters. I don't know what to call these. I always call these like grill pieces. These little like lined hole ones. I always called them grill pieces as a child. 
It's always reminding me of like a little barbecue grill. They probably have a name. Actually, I wonder if any of the Lego pieces actually have like official names. I know they have numbers to designate what they are. But I wonder if Lego has like actual names for them. That would be interesting to know. I want to sneak ahead. Eh. Question is, what is this? Is this the head or is this like the torso? I think it's the torso. And this is what the head balances on. Let's change soundtracks. It's his ass, his dumpy. Damn. Love some Katamari. Okay, right, so once we build something else, so this just sits to the side, I guess. Exploding, hey, Thorn. Pieces. It was hiding for me. Lego Katamari would be amazing. Oh man, that would be kind of fun. I would like, like, real life Lego sets of Katamari, but also a Lego Katamari game. That would be so much fun. Giant ball can stick things to, yeah. You know how they have like, um, like, uh, experiences, the experiences in Japan where it's like the, the Mario Kart, go Kart thing? They, they should do that, but it's Katamari. So yeah, you just go around rolling things. <laughs>
Okay, there's these weird hole pieces. So, I don't know if you can see. But it has little, like, ridges on it. I don't entirely know why. I don't know if they're going to be serviceable or if they're just reusing parts. I guess we'll find out. Both sides, you are the prince and you are bull. Yeah. Oh yeah, I, I I can't remember if I said or not, but I did add a hype more videos to the random video thing. So there's like over 600 now. It's just a few. for ducks. Uh, I think you mean even more terrible odds for ducks. Sixty-four bits. They know me uh, sorry I didn't get my energy. Sixty-four bits. Vain Mero Vinel Luigi. Discord's dying. Oh, sorry, Gary, again. It's me. There we go. Mario's a fickle little bitch. Beautiful little impact lines. Wow. 
Oh yeah, this is definitely the chest piece. Alright, put it to the side again. like there is no reason. It just is like this. Okay. Sure. That's what it wants. Lego minifig is four centimeters tall. You can make a cannon sized prince minifig. I mean... Yeah. So, I feel like that's just more reason for them to do it. Like, it, it makes it seem so obvious. Also, I just realized down the bottom of the fucking instruction manual, there is a progress bar, and this is adorable. Because it's got a little fucking BD to show you how far along you are. That is fucking adorable. I don't know how I only just noticed that, but it, it did. lessons. What would my teacher say? She would be so disappointed that I've stopped learning. <laughs> BD is the best that he can. He's doing the most and best. No one should or could ever judge BD. good and useful features for going through the instructions like being able to rotate at any step or something that's so cool uh, we have another impact line this is going on the back We're nearly finished with bag one
Alright, our first spare parts. Because that's everything. Wrong way around. Parts here. Into the bin they go. And by bin I mean bag. <laughs> the potentially use in other sets. Bag two, let's go. Yeah, we have a lot of pieces here. What is this? interesting piece. The fact that it's got like ridges on the side, like right here. Hold on, focus. Got, like ridges like right here makes me think it's like a turning mechanism of some sort. I'm assuming it's like the, the, the neck anchor or something. Or maybe it's something else. It could be something else. It's probably something else. Has your cat? Yes, it has Ridge. Then we have this fucking weird thing. Talk about specialty pieces. Click, click. <laughs> oh yeah, I see. It's got ridges on the inside as well. It's like a cake tin. So yeah, this is very much a Just rip a new one. Um, oh, and these ones on the side also do the same. Interesting. this to oh it's a leg come on go in there we go okay that's cool the way it like rotates in both directions allowing quite a freedom of movement rotates on two axes. I was just about to say the same thing. I'm like, man, listening to like accordion music just makes me want to listen to Professor Layton and I'm really excited for the new game. I don't know if I'll be able to play it. Most likely what will happen is I'll just watch Barry play it. Because <laughs> I probably won't have time to, to play it myself. Need more accordion music? Well, I'd say go to France, but I would never recommend that, so. There's probably some online that you can find. Alright, time to build, I'm assuming, a leg, because that looks like a leg for me. Switch is on the fritz, so I probably won't be able to replace it. Well, the Switch 2 should be out by then. I did see the thing from Ukulele from those devs talking about, oh, you know, the the re, whatever it's called, rejiggied or whatever they want to call it, um, version of Ukulele will be out on, you know, uh, I think it's like Xbox, PS5, and Nintendo. 
with like an eyes emoji implying like, hey, it's not going to be Switch, it's going to be the next Switch, which you all know is coming. Makes you want to give more D&D characters a audience? Yeah. Yuka Ripley. That's a, I gotta be honest, that's a terrible name. Um, <laughs> not the worst name they could have come up with, but not exactly a great one. Where is Tube? Oh, it's not Tube. It's this thing. Why is it silver? It's like... Like, all these other ones are, like, white, right? And this one's, like, weirdly silver for some reason. But in the book, it's still white as well. So I think I just got sent silver parts. Not that that's bad. Just odd, I guess. Kind of looks like hydraulics anyway, which I'm assuming is the point. downside to building Lego is that it really hurts your fingers in the end. Oh, I guess I put it around the right, right amount. Nice. on your rod. Oh, this is the foot, isn't it? He's got little toes. That's cute. Looks like the printer was running out of ink when they made this book.
wants me to put it on like this. This is not how I thought this would go. I thought this would be like a toe, but I don't think it's actually a toe now. This is the wrong piece. <laughs> I, did, I completely put it on the wrong piece. Where is the correct piece? Froggies? Froggy attack. He's gay? Uh, of course. Why do you think Big's chasing up him? Transphibian, okay. Okay. Oh, it is a foot. He just has like four feet. Oh shit, we're snapping it on. Hey, Los Alazo. Tiny house simulator. How was it? Welcome, welcome all. We're uh, building some Lego. We're building BD1. We just finished his uh, right leg and he's putting it on. Bad or oh. good, bad or bad, bad? Dude, it's so cool. I can turn. So I can like turn. 
his legs can like rotate and shit. That's so cool. Super ambitious but super buggy and needs some UI UX work. Ah. Oh well. That's what updates are for. Hopefully. Deep, deep. We're about a quarter of the way through, I'd say, judging by the position of BD on this on this line bar here. We're about a quarter of the way through, I'd say. short build. <laughs> well, BD is a short king. And now we're building the opposite leg. What's the coolest thing you made of Lego? Um... I want to say it's probably the Star Destroyer. I have a Death Star as well, but it's a, an open Death Star. So it's more like every section is like a little mini scene in itself, which is kind of cool, but the Star Destroyer is so much cooler in my opinion. Because the way you can pull it, pull the top off and open it up is just so awesome. One day I'll rebuild it on stream. It'll probably take multiple streams and a bigger desk. <laughs> because it is, it is massive. Maybe if I get the Venator someday as well, that would be probably the best thing to build. A Venator class starship would be amazing. Honestly, I probably need a um, better cabinet for my Lego before I do that though, because I need one with a closed door so it dust doesn't get all over me. Because that's the hardest part about building and storing Lego. I just want the $700 Falcon. I don't have the $700 Falcon, but I do have the old Falcon that existed. Um, when it first came out. And I, I want to say like 2004. The one that also opens up like a pizza. That one's pretty cool. My biggest problem with that is uh, the, the like blue hyperdrive thing on the back of it is uh, wonky. <laughs> Front of the foot. I do remember when I first got the Star Destroyer, I couldn't build it on the table. I had to build it on the floor. And I spent, I want to say four hours um, just sorting through the pieces. Because as a child, I was stupid. I opened up all the bags at once. Actually, I think it might have been before they numbered the bags. I want to say it's before they started numbering the bags. Um, so you had to sort through everything. Um, and it's, I took like three hours and like I would have like piles and piles of like Lego sections. And I remember I had a friend try and help me with it. 
but I was just like, no, 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 you're doing it wrong. <laughs> It was it was kind of like taking the piss out on it, and I'm like, no, no, this is serious. This is Lego building. This is not like, oh, let's fuck around and put this piece. Every piece has a place. You you can't just fuck around with Lego. <laughs> like I said, that big sense of space monorail. Yeah. Snap the other leg on. He's standing. I was just thinking that. I was like, why haven't they used this sort of, like, system for an ATS suit? That would be a great system. Like, these legs. The way it waddles by a wall. That'd be great. Howdy, Eric. How are you doing? Put that to the side. And we're making two of these. So I may as well make them both at the same time. Set it up so the random doesn't choose something that's already come up. That would be scary. I forgot about the farting noises in this song.
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think I'm missing a piece. Yeah, I think I'm missing a piece. Because there should be another corner piece somewhere, but there isn't. Uh oh. Stuck in the bag. Thank fucking God. Last thing I want right now is a missing piece. Sounds like the Sonic song. Like a Sonic 06 song. Well, no, I already figured that out. Come on, guys. Okay, more spare parts. Unless I miss something. I feel like these two I might miss something. I did. These go on the front. Gotta cover his toes. Can't give out toes for free. Oh. More spare parts. Which means bag three. Or should I say bags three? Because there's three bags of oh, three. <laughs> I'm hilarious.
more whips, black whips. What is going on with this build? Like a kinky line. Yeah, it seems like that. Alright, we're instantly building. So we need four of these. Go on the leg. Disco ball, disco hole. Come on, go in. Shit. Oh no, I broke his foot. They should have told me to put this on when I was building the legs. It's a bit hard to do it when his legs are attached. Oh my god. He's just as not annoying. Why is no one doing? Go in! There we go. Whew. Okay, I'm done. Fuck this. Alright, we're putting the whips on. Oh, they're like legs. Put this in here. Let me connect this. This feels really flimsy. foot again okay this these toes are really fucking weak they need more reinforcement if, if, if the instructions don't have anything to like reinforce these little toe back toes i'm gonna put something on like I just realized I put this in the wrong one. Shit. 
There go those toes again. I'll fix them later. If they're gonna keep falling off, I'm just gonna take them off and fix them later. Because it's it's getting really annoying having them fall off every five seconds. <sighs> Looking good, buddy. Looking submissive and breathable, buddy. Seat. We actually lost South Brisbane. Seriously? Yeah, Labour won it. Fuck my fucking fuck. Amy McMahon is no longer there. Ah, oh, shit. Oh well. Fucking. Yeah, hang on. Let's see this. Oh, the website sucks. Hi guys. Hello. Am I loud now? Hey. Uh -huh. Ah. Mm. Oh, Listen. Wow. Um. At least we got out. Uh. The fifty cent. Uh. Public transport. Like permanently done and i'm yeah. sure that the lmp won't back that back or anything well they said that they wouldn't they sure but did they also said that they wouldn't hold a conscience vote on abortion and we'll see how that goes mm -hmm. <sighs> if i have to go do a referendum it won't be a about referendum. whether or not i'm allowed to have a fucking abortion it's not a referendum oh. so worse is what you're saying yes. You won't get a say. They know if they do a referendum, it would be. It doesn't majority. need to be a referendum. Yes. Because it's not changing yeah. the constitution. Yeah. <sighs> well, it's fine. Everything's it's good, actually. Simply a bill whether to recriminalize it. Yeah, great idea, guys. Yay. In 2024, let's do it. That's a great idea. I feel like that's like not a popular it wasn't thing in it cost them a lot Queensland. of votes but not enough yeah like maybe they'll be able to pass it but it's not going to be popular with the people even with like lnp doesn't voters. matter they just won like, the election i mean yeah and everyone has short memories <laughs> huh what'd you say <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you joke. Because you show memories and then. Huh? <laughs> Back with the Simpson again. You nearly got me. Nearly repeated myself. 
You nearly repeated yourself. You repeated yourself. <gasps> That's not bad at all. How's Eve eat either? Is he growing? He's, he's a growing he's boy. A big boy? Yeah. Actually, it's Do you have a Porygon plushie? Oh, uh, yeah, a friend of mine made it for me. It's a fresh ape. It's so cute. Mm. It's oh! Oh, I freaking love him. Yeah, he's really cute. Dude, good, good news. Paragon 2 is currently extremely viable in competitive Pokemon. But why do I want to fight with Porygon? Porygon is peace. Because he kicks AS. He clicks Thunderbolt and kills everyone. It's awesome. And Hyper Beam. Hyper Beam? I hardly yeah. know of. Hyper Beam. Oh well, I'll give it a try anyway. I think so. Apparently Big will give it a try. Oh. I'll give it a try. I'll give it a try anyway. In better news than everything else, I did have cheesecake for breakfast. That's not which good. Which great. No, it's good. I feel you great now. You shouldn't be eating cheesecake for breakfast. I'm allowed to have cheesecake for breakfast every so often if I want to. You're allowed to. You're allowed to. Mm hmm Yeah. I mean, you can do whatever you want, but I wouldn't recommend it. Yeah. There you can also jump out a window and everyone. I wouldn't recommend doing that either. You're not my mom. No, I'm not your mother. I'm not your mom. I'm sure your mother will enjoy you eating cheesecake for breakfast either. Yeah, she doesn't need to know uh, what I'm eating for breakfast. <laughs> Chat, call her up. No! Everyone in chat has Shiv's mom's number, right? No! You sure I'm not your mom? Are you sure? <laughs> It's just cream cheese, egg, and a bunch of sugar. Yeah, exactly. It's very, it's protein heavy. It's good for breakfast. Protein heavy. Yeah, cream cheese and egg. Cream cheese, protein heavy. Yeah. Yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah. Oh, so once we just like. <laughs> Donuts get to be breakfast food. Cheesecake can be too. What do you mean donuts can be breakfast food? It's in America. Saying, or donuts are breakfast that. foods. Because Duncan. Oh, does Duncan do like breakfast food? Yeah. Do you get bacon, egg, and cheese there? Yeah, bacon, egg, and cheese Coffee. on like a bagel or something. Not on a donut. Mm -hmm. What is a dairy dessert but protein with Ooh. sugar? Um, chia pudding? I don't know. Cheesecake? No. Yes. I mean, a cheesecake could Your be a cheese protein. Cheese protein. It's not much protein. It's a little bit. <laughs> and there's one egg in the whole thing. That's <laughs> That's like saying a cake is protein because it has egg in it. Yeah. A cake is protein. I made snickerdoodles it's like, no, the other day and they're my protein snacks. I didn't Did add any protein, protein powder. Did you put protein powder in them? No. Then it's no. not protein! <laughs> it has barely any protein! Lots of butter. Very protein heavy. I'm going to kill you, <laughs> but I guess the butter will kill you first. Yes. Can't wait. Actually, my cholesterol is really good right now, so that's good. You check after you ate the cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> Only bad things on my um, recent blood test was my iron was fucked, and I'm getting an iron infusion tomorrow. And then also, um, my vitamin D was really low, which yeah, is, um, the sun, bitch. so embarrassing. Literally, I was prescribed 10 minutes in the sun every day. I'm mad about it. Like, what do you mean? It's 
a little protein as a treat, it's not. Don't encourage yes. them. Yes. If you're going to say that it's protein, then you can say <laughs> anything is anything for any reason. Which yeah. is terrible. And excuses a lot of things that should not be excused. That's good, it's good. Nah, just kidding. My main protein snack right now, um, probably not the best one you could do, but at least it has protein in it. Twiggy sticks. I thought you were about to say cheesecake again. I'm like, I swear to fucking God. No, I would never. <laughs> Twiggy sticks, I've been yeah. eating a lot of Twiggy sticks. The problem with Twiggy sticks is the salt content. And um, yeah, but, um, some would say the so that's fat. That's okay for me because I need to have a lot of salt. I think so. the fat is honestly fine. So long as you're not like gorging yourself not, on Twiggy sticks constantly. It's mainly yeah, no. the salt that's bad. Yeah, the, the sodium is okay because um, I need to have a lot of salt anyway, so it actually is a good pot Salty snack. Salty bitch. Thing. Yeah, I wish. Trying. My doctor was like, aim for like 10 grams of sodium a day. <laughs> Your doctor I'm prescribed barely you getting like grass. Literally, dude! In 125 Dude, grams of cheesecake, there are roughly 7 grams of protein. Yeah, that is embarrassing. Yeah, the idea of I need to bulk and yes. then crushing a whole cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen the TikTok of that guy who's like, I can't get my protein. Yeah, every One time I... kilo of yogurt. And then every his time back I like, you can't eat that much yogurt. <laughs> every time I see him, so I hear, all I hear is, I can't get... And I immediately scroll away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I watched off. like two of them and I was like, all right, I get the idea. Um, but I do think it's funny. <laughs> and I like that his mom's in the background, like, you, you're a fucking idiot. I did, yeah, his mom's in the background. You know, just obviously, like, this she is was disgusting. told to say that. Yeah, it's so funny. She's a paid actor. Yeah, good for her. Get that bread, man. Get that one kilo of. <laughs> It's actually Shiv's mom in the background. <laughs> yeah, she would. Well, she'd be like, more like, Shiv, honey, I just. I just uh, I just do not. Mm. <laughs> like would, would would she be the kind to be like? I don't know. I mean, I feel like you're getting fat enough already. Like, do you really? <laughs> do you really should you yeah. really re be eating this? Every time I fucking see her, she's yeah. like, "You gain weight." I'm like, "I'll kill you." How about that? <laughs> yes, but the fuck you. Uh, <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> so annoying. It's alright. It doesn't affect me. But like, I'm <laughs> it like, doesn't affect me. <laughs> I'm like numb to it. It's the kind of thing that's like, I wish you wouldn't say that because it makes me think that you have a really negative body image, which is not good. Especially at your age, you should be like nourishing your body and stuff instead of like worrying about if you're fat or not. But, you know, what am I gonna do? You could always clockwork orange her into something like doing better. Like showing yeah. her <laughs> eyes open, making her look at videos of, of of people regretting going through body image issues and enforcing them yeah. on themselves. Or like there's like nice TikToks of like mid sized girls who are like, this is what I eat in a day and how it changes how my body looks. I'm like, oh, that's nice. That makes me feel normal. Or show her I'm the like, video. Mom, you have to look at this. Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure the I think TikTok she won't watch them. Of those guys who uh, like record them uh, packing people's orders for things from a shop, yeah. but very oh, yeah. specifically <laughs> the one where it's a guy and he's packing it and he just goes big papa pickle, big papa pickle, big papa pickle, big papa pickle, over and over and over again. <laughs> Love think about those that one. Fucking videos. Constantly. <laughs> Big Papa Pickle. The one where it's just big, big Papa, Papa Pickle. Big Papa Pickle. Big Papa Pickle. Big Papa Pickle. And then there's like one Red Bull at the end. <laughs> <laughs> like what? Oh, wait. It suddenly has one, not two. Okay. 
Maybe we want to go get another jar of pickles to snack on. Do you stop that? I wish I liked pickles. Yeah. I kind of do too. It would make it easier to get burgers at places. Right? Every time I see like a I burger or something. I hate being like, can I do another? Yeah. Or like the, the fucking Domino's burger range. I'm like, that looks kind of nice. I kind of want to try some of it. And then it's like, we got pickles on it. And I'm like, well, fuck me, I guess. Yeah. Two things I that hate ruin a pizza being at a burger instantly. place and being like, can I get that with no pickles, please? I'm Excuse always like, I'm me. doing a crime. They asked for no pickles. Like, I'd, I'd rather ask for no tomatoes or something. Yeah. For me, it's just like a... I, a pickle. It's like pickle. burger. Um, like, pickle. the two things that instantly ruin a pizza for me are pickles and mm. uh, onion. Onion on a pizza? Go fuck onion. yourself. Interesting. I just... I don't usually like onion on pizza, pizza except for... And it's yeah. crunchy? Ugh. Oh, yeah. If it's crunchy, it's no good. If it's like a caramelized onion and then they... Caramelized can onion? I could maybe good. do. It like, has to be, like, mm. good with the toppings. Oh. I do like the um, Domino's beef and onion pizza, though. I but was other than that, I'm say. like, meh. I just had the best idea for a Domino's pizza, and they should hire me. Yeah. The yeah. Bunning Snag Pizza. <gasps> Sausages, caramelized onion. Yeah. Tomato or barbecue, though. That's your choice. You get Both? to choose. You get to choose. Oh. oh, and they could run it like a promo, like you order them, and then like whichever side wins is, I don't know. They like tally all the all the yeah, orders. It's, it's like you know the the great Australian battle. Domino's be like instructions on clear and juicing the veggie my pizza. <laughs> I mean, well, I feel like I'm. Yeah, hey, I fuck with the cheesy my pizza. Ugh, no. I know, I know Pizza Hut used to go through that phase here where they'd like be like, "Ooh, here's all these crusts of like, you know, you want this, right? Like American." Yeah. Pizza stuff, and meanwhile, Domino's were like, "Here's just some really good flavors and some really fresh ingredients for our pizzas. Do you like this?" And yep. Australia unanimously went, "Man, Pizza Hut fucking sucks." <laughs> yeah. Pizza Hut even still is very like hit or miss. Every like, time sometimes I, have pizza I get Pizza Hut, I'm like, "Damn, this is good." And sometimes I'm like, "Ooh, like it's not cooked enough." Mm -hmm. How the fuck is this going on? This is the wrong piece, that's why. That's my piece. All the pizza arts around here went out of business and got turned into weed dispensaries. Honestly, that's what every pizza art should be. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I wish. I remember seeing something about Pizza Hut getting like a SpongeBob collab or something. Where it's like they got like pickle ice cream or something because I remember Russ uh, ate it and said it was the most disgusting thing he's ever eaten. <laughs> oh, I forgot to put the thing on top. for a couple of months, not a fan. Yeah. I think the thing also for me is I don't like vinegar. <laughs> so anything pickled is yeah. automatically not going to be nice to me. And it's the because... The only pickled food I like is like Asian pickled food, like like daikon radish and ginger and stuff. Yeah, see, even then I Anything else I'm like, eh. 
Because for me, I yeah. grew up uh, loving salt and vinegar chips so much that I uh, developed an aversion to them. And now if I uh, even smell too many. salt and vinegar, it makes me feel ill. It happened and to me with pistachios, which is general. really sad. I smell any sort I of even, like, smell. it makes me go no thank you yeah. bun me though bun me slice I, ah. I know what I'm getting for but most of the time I get the I, I take the uh, cucumber off I like ordering bun me through like delivery apps because I don't have to be like can I get it without chili, please? <laughs> and have nice the Vietnamese have the fucking Vietnamese sandwich. the like forty year old Vietnamese lady look up at you and be like, yeah. oh, another fucking lame ass white person. Like they kind of like me spice. for a second, but they say no chili, please. They're like, oh. <laughs> okay, no, I'm sorry. I am getting the lemongrass beef, and I am not getting chili. You're not getting pork. I'll, I'll either get the pork belly or I'll get lemongrass chicken or beef. It depends what I'm feeling like. I like bun Sometimes meat has to be pork belly is like too much. <sighs> if the place does a really good like lemongrass chicken, lemongrass beef, it's mm. it's good. I see. Otherwise, I'll just roll. Pork. Nah, I usually do. Um, I won't say the place is because I want to talk myself too hard. That's fine. There's a lot of good. Um, on me places <laughs> damn straight I don't usually do roll thank god for the Vietnam War thank you so much I think I wish it didn't have to be like that but I do appreciate um, having Vietnamese bakeries everywhere there's one underneath my um, doctor's office and it's it's great because no, I'm, I'm never like, oh, I have to go to the doctor. I'm like, oh, I'm good to go to the doctor and then I get a little treat. <laughs> a little treat. I did a nice little do, um, Vietnamese bakery croissant, which are the best ones. Vietnamese bakery croissant and Fucking Vietnamese you know. coffee. Yeah. It's way cheaper than any of those like fancy croissant places and it's better. Especially the chocolate ones. It's so good. Shout out to the French occupation of Vietnam. <laughs> One time. <laughs> it was a while where I was like so obsessed with Vietnamese style iced coffee that I, I would buy those like, you know, you can get like tubes of condensed milk. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah, I would have one of those in the fridge all the time, so I could make ice, Vietnamese iced coffee whenever I wanted. It wasn't like proper, like I didn't like brew the coffee myself, I just like made really strong instant, and then put the condensed in it. It's, it it's close. It's, it's close a sad you, approximation, yeah. but... I was gonna say, yeah. it's kind of like a, like a sad, the uh, like, it's a, a sad living alone style, like coffee thing. Yeah. Like, you know exactly <laughs> what I mean when I say that. <laughs> Of like, my sad little I'm, I'm and, by myself. No one here's no one's here to judge me. <laughs> yeah. Dude, the amount of food, like my stupid little snacks that I avoid eating now that I have a ruby. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like I can't just eat like three cheese sticks for dinner anymore. I have to have like something real. Yeah, Although we're both chicken nugget fiends, so I don't feel too bad about You're both six years old. Yes. Should we at least get decent chicken nuggets or you, you, you get the really bad ones? We get the Steggles Dino Chicken Nugget Tempura one kilo bag. Okay, well the Steggles ones are pretty good. Yeah, they're the best ones. But Dino Although Nuggets, the, really? The Coles, um, yeah, they taste better and they cost the same, so whatever. If they cost more, I wouldn't be able to justify it, but That's if they cost the same as just getting the regular If they cost nuggets, the same, so like... then yeah, me as well. <laughs> they used to be more expensive, but not anymore for some reason. That's, that's Albo. Albo's like, oh, I don't yeah, want them making the chicken dino chicken nuggets. That's more of a John Howard, though, <laughs> Albo. Yeah, that no, I was going to say this. I feel like I'm missing something here. I don't know what Albo sounds like anymore. I haven't 
watched any of his shit because he just pisses me off. I don't wanna watch any of his shit. I'm sick of his shit. It's like I I low key trusted you a little bit and then you didn't do anything. And I hate you. Did you know no, his we're gonna get an LMP in, uh, Social housing? Yes, I did! But he owns like seven houses. So it doesn't matter anymore. Yeah, but his mother was in social housing okay. growing up. Maybe social housing. Stop bringing up her name. She's dead. Let her rest. <laughs> Unless you're going to actually rest in social like, housing. follow that up with like, yes, we're going to do a huge public housing initiative and stop giving these development contracts to like private contractors. No, it's fine. To make stupid luxury apartments that are going to be empty while we have a terrible homeless problem. Oh, Man. yeah. But the Greens in 2009 voted down the CPRS. So really, it's the Greens. Yeah. This little fucker is a rogue yeah. US military asset and a fault. danger to public safety. I'm sure NORAD they had so much power Reaper in 2009. <laughs> uh, they did, actually. <laughs> Remember the, well, the, yeah. the, the yeah. hung parliament? <laughs> and then it leading uh, to... Not really, I was like 11. Some of the greatest... The, the world changing carbon pricing initiatives under that was pretty Julia cool. Gillard with the Greens. <sighs> Good times. And I'm her so reward surprised. was to, like the premier for like a premise of like the uh, two days ish. Thereabouts. <laughs> yeah. And also getting rid of, you know. At least she got to say that uh, I will not be lectured to be sexism by this man. That was pretty cool. I do find that speech kind of funny because I believe it was immediately after that speech that she then voted to remove, like, lower the cap, I think, or lower the payout for single mothers on Centrelink. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Like, I'll not be lectured on misogyny by this man. Anyway, fuck women. <laughs> <laughs> Poor women. Sorry. My apologies. <laughs> Miss Gillard. I think it, it, that's a, a great little microcosm example of, um, uh, you know, Girl boss Marxist principles of like classism over is like the oh, center yeah. of everything the people just don't get sorry man every time i fucking come on to your stream and it's just us i just immediately start talking politics and i'm like this have might you suck. seen my streams before <laughs> i mean yeah but it's all either me ranting like, about I... doctor who or star wars or yeah. star trek or it's me ranting about politics yeah. sorry about season eight yeah, is that the fine. uh which doctor is that again? Is Peter Capaldi? Capaldi's first season. Yeah, oh god. It's a rough a one. A lot of people dropped off there. I think that's when I totally fell off of Doctor Who for like a good while. I believe that's like, well, when Matt dropped off as well. Yeah. I was like, I don't like this guy. <laughs> and like it wasn't even just like it's it wasn't that I was like I was not like obviously everyone had a bit of a crush on Matt Smith because we were 13 and he was cute. But like, it wasn't because the doctor was like old and ugly. I was like, he just sucks. <laughs> he feels like a, like, I don't know. Completely different person. Like, I get what they were trying to do, I guess. But it just didn't work. Yeah, yeah. I, I, it sucks for multiple reasons, because for me, because the through line of that series is Peter Capaldi's Doctor is like, am I a good man? And for me, yeah. the answer unequivocally is yes, or it doesn't matter, you're trying to be and that's what counts. But the series acts yeah. like it's a it, it's a legitimate question of like, ooh, is the Doctor actually a bad yeah. person? And it's like, no, like, the show I don't doesn't think work if the ever Doctor believed... is evil. <laughs> Yeah, no one, no one actually, like, sometimes you, like, will be, like, thinking about an episode a little bit too much, and you're like, wait, but well, that was kind of fucked up. But it's never been framed that way. So changing no. the framing of the show to be like, am I evil, actually, is not interesting. It would be interesting if he was, like, having, like, a, like, with the, the newest Doctor, he has some moments where he's like, oh my god, that was my fault. 
Yeah. And I, that was terrible. Like, and he has like this emotional response immediately. That's I interesting don't... and cool. Fuck. Well, yeah. I think they did a really good job with that with the new guy, but like, not with Peter. He just was giving he, nothing. He he this gets stupid fucking Sonic screwdriver being his Ray Bans. Fuck off. I, listen, screwdriver. the reason for it is cute, but also at the same time, it, yes, it's. Not. I hate it. <laughs> yeah, shut up. Like you can't I, be like, am I evil? And then also, haha, my sunglasses is a Sonic screwdriver, and I'm cool, and I play the guitar. And I'm like, pick one. You can pick one. You yeah, may pick one. Yeah. You fuck. It is, it is so I, it, it's it's evident to me in the way that they characterize him because season eight he's just an asshole, an old grumpy asshole. Mm. Season nine he's a rock star, and then season ten he's like this college professor, an old seasoned college professor, and it's like they really did. I didn't, didn't mind know what would stick. I didn't mind the the college professor angle. I thought that was kind of interesting. Season I think that was when I was like, maybe I'll I'll watch it again. Is that it Billy, is, it, right? Yeah, that's Bill. Yeah, I'll oh, build. Really. It is yeah. his best season because it's it's, thought, it's when he's cool. actually kind again. Uh, yeah. And everything isn't focused Even on the, the concept of the episodes was stupid. Like, emojis. I was like, shut up. <laughs> oh god, that episode itself, I. That like episode the is episode probably with Bill, and it nearly made me fall off again. <laughs> it... so First of all, the fucking <laughs> like the fact that it's emojis. I'm like, sure, whatever. Then he's like, don't look yeah. at my browser history, and I'm like, stop making that joke. It's not funny. Stop trying to make that joke happen, Stephen Moffat. You're looking not at funny. porn. Um, but then oh, sorry, the resolution to the story is to commit genocide. And I'm like, this is not a good solution, but the story doesn't realize that it's actually a horrifying thing. Because if you yeah, wipe the memory- they're like, haha, we're killing all the emojis. And I'm if, like, you you have, if you have a robot that has gained sentience and you wipe its memory so it forgets everything since it became sentient, that is genocide. Yeah, man. You, you I feel like it's not like robot. a- Especially like in the context of Doctor Who, where like that sort of thing has happened before. You know, like it's even fun. with like the Daleks and the Cybermen and stuff, he doesn't like. He's trying not to like kill all of them because he's like that would probably be evil or whatever. At least like maybe in more modern times, maybe in the older times he was like, these fucking robots got to go. Well, in the old times, yeah, that's because it was you know the old times. You know, it was a silly little sci-fi show. Yeah. Silly little man. But yeah, I don't know. I just always am dumbfounded when I see people say that, like, season eight and nine are the best in the show. <laughs> I'm always just like, what are you that's on? Insane. And it's like, oh, because I really love Clara. And it's like, uh, oh, that's why. You just really oh. like Clara. I'm, like, I'm glad someone likes her. I sure liked her in, like, the first season she was in, and then... Yep. They're like, she's the magic girl or whatever. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember, like, what Impossible her big girl. thing was. Like, it's so stupid. Magic Girl is maybe on the same level as Impossible Girl. Magic Girl so sounds goofy. like a really shitty Beatles song from the 70s. She's my <laughs> She's magic my girl. She's my magic girl. <laughs> She's cast a spell on me. She's a fucking witch, burn her, burn her. I'm going to go beat my wife. <laughs> I just found out recently about um an an art piece that um your co-owner made. That's a uh, I think a 35 to 40 minute video of um John Lennon's <laughs> half jump. <laughs> Does it have a square space out at the end of it? I wish. <laughs> that would have made it way better. This, is going. <laughs> this this art presentation has been brought to you today by Squarespace. We <laughs> needed to make a website so you could post this video of your husband's penis. It's insane. Uh, and, For um, instance, I created Lennon's Small dot com. 
that's the thing there's no it was shown once at like some gallery and that's it so now no one else gets to see john lennon's penis and i'm like what's the point well the point is the penis let me see the, the beetle dick <laughs> after no dick. beetle dick now that i know that there's beetle dick. at least was footage of the penis of a beetle I'm like I can't rest, <laughs> you know. Like sure that's so weirdly tantalizing. <laughs> How what? I'm sure you could probably get Ringo's dick somehow. Yeah, he probably posted on Cameo if you ask nicely enough. You know? <laughs> sure, <laughs> you know I can do that for Feels you. like he's in Cameo. I'm pretty sure Ringo's on Cameo. Yeah, that makes sense for him. He doesn't reply to fan mail anymore. No more but fan me. mail. No more fan Peace mail. Peace and Please. love. Peace and love. Please. Ringo. I've watched that video so many times just because it's just funny. It's so strange that we live in a world where like the Beatles, who unfortunately were pioneers of modern music in a lot of ways, mm -hmm. where two of them died in really like tragic, sad ways, and then yep. the other two, one of them is is Paul McCartney. Who is just like an old man now and then we got Ringo who is an old man slash he's nuts <laughs> just like Ringo's just a goofy voice. little guy yeah he's he's giving uncle you know he's giving fun uncle at the family function yeah like he he will corner you to talk about some weird shit that he's been doing recently but you're you're in rap shit the whole time Say, have you heard oh, of Neon Ringo, Genesis crazy. Evangelion? <laughs> I have actually, Uncle Ringo. Did you watch it? Pretty good stuff, right? <laughs> Asuka best girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now so I want to hear Ringo stupid. say that. <laughs> No, it's something that I think John would have really liked. Finicky mm -hmm. small bits. Mr. Nicky. Finicky. Finicula. Finicula, Finicula. Right, I'm getting my bon me. I think we need to get a coffee as well. We're over halfway. Halfway already? How long have you been gone? Hello. Yeah, Hi, Matt. He's got legs. Yeah, she didn't even tell Matt that I said hi. Oh. <laughs> Matt. <laughs> Throw him at you. Don't kill him. <laughs> Don't murder. Hey, let me just change my title quick to domestic abuse and then I'll throw it at you. <laughs> Yeah, I have to put the, the, the content warning on as well. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I'm off screen so you don't have to. <laughs> bag number four. Give it up for bag number four. Out of six. Wait, oh wait, you have the the John John Lennon dong out art? Do you have it? Are you lying to me? Rock out with the beetle out. Am I being pranked? <laughs> Am I being pranked? Am I actually going to see John Dick today? Lennon I'm Dick? I'm gonna... I'm like so excited. You have the link? Do I have a link to that Lennon cock? Um, you just can do links, right? You yeah, you can just post links a, in mine. Permit. I feel like I'm gonna be pranked and something else. But I'll still click on it. I'll risk the virus. Yeah, if it's a virus, you know what? Worth getting. The London cock. No! Did you get. I got linked to Bible! 
You got oh wait, no, I didn't. I see peanuts. I see. Oh well, this is yeah. We know this picture. You can't really see much because it's just like all bush. Well, it was the seventies. Everything was all bush. Oh, there it is. Kind of small. Still got the eighties. It became bush again. He's uncut. Do you want me to show it on stream? <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't want to get banned. Oh, Bush, if they retired from politics. <laughs> Thanks for posting. I think I have seen that before, but I forgot that it existed. smooth as a dolphin otherwise okay not words that i would thought were going to describe a beetle today but we all wake up not knowing what adventures await us except for a few people of course who are clairvoyants Dolphins surprisingly rough, or is that just sharks? <clears throat> I think dolphins, dolphins are yeah. rough in like their actions. I don't think they're rough in terms of like, touch. Yes, they're soft. They're soft, but assholes. Sharks are fine if you pat them the right way. If you go the other way, it's like you have to go with the scales. Because they're, they're fish, they're scaly, whereas dolphins are not fish, they're not. They're, they're food. Too smooth. They're nice. I, 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 um. You ate dolphin? Before I knew that, um, uh, keeping dolphins in captivity was kind of fucked up, I had like a birthday where I got to go pet dolphins <laughs> at SeaWorld, and it was dolphin. pretty sick. <laughs> I could just be a fish and dolphin, it was sick. <laughs> Before I knew it was bad as a child, I went whaling. <laughs> <laughs> Killed me. Before I knew whale. it was kind of fucked up, I went seal clubbing. It was awesome. Yeesh. <laughs> Thinking of the rough shark skins and the one Tumblr post? Oh, yeah. Tumblr. Love that place. I wish it didn't exist sometimes. You wish it didn't exist? Yeah. Oh. Sometimes I feel like it has brought more disaster to this planet than it has brought joy. Mayhaps. It's kind of dope these days, I'm not gonna lie. Because everyone who's still on there are like people who um, have been on Tumblr for like 10, 15 years. So there's like a very like solid culture that's formed there, but like it's it's fun and nice and cool. Yeah, most of the most people who are on are... TikTok now. Exactly. <laughs> like the kids aren't on there, so it's like a bit more of a mature place. And like if mature people are being place. weird, it's really easy. Well, you know. You know what I mean. Listen. Um no, it's nice. Because also, like, unlike other fucking social media platforms these days, it, when you, like, block people, it actually works. And it's really easy to, like, block tags and things that you don't want to see. So. Well, actually, I think to block tags, you probably still need an extension, but I wouldn't use the Tumblr mobile app anyway. <laughs> I just use Tumblr to look at stuff and yeah. art and things and... Yeah, it's a good place to find art for sure. 
Also questions. People use it to ask questions. And I'm like, this is a neat place to like answer questions in a yeah. long thing. Like, I just I do stuff. still like the idea of having like a blog. Like it's it's nice to have like your yeah. spot on the internet in that way. Not terrible. Even if it's like technically part of a like a social media site rather than just like a WordPress or whatever. But mm. I still like it. And also, like, it seems like the people who still work there, like, are actually like what they're doing and want to make Tumblr a better place, like, genuinely, rather than just, like, random software engineers who have stuck around even though Elon Musk is crazy. <laughs> Not to get specific or anything. <laughs> He's what? <laughs> I know, it's the first time here, this. I thought he was a visionary. Yeah. To the moon. <laughs> visionary of dumb stuff. <laughs> Luckily, because of Bellatro, when I think of To the Moon, I only think of the, the, the Bellatro Jerko. When I think of To the Moon, I used to think of uh, Shoot for the Moon in. Yeah. Is it Runny or Gin? One of the two. Oh, yeah because of Clubhouse games for the Nintendo DS. That was one of those. I freaking love Clubhouse games. I should play the Switch one again. It's so much fun. You wanna play, um, Mancala? <laughs> it's one of the only games I'm shit at. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only kind of good at it because I used to play it a lot at, like, um, really, like, after school care. Oh, yeah. I don't know why. We just had, like, a Mancala board and I was just, like, obsessed with it. I think it's mostly because it has shiny rocks in it. Yeah, and you'd probably eat, eat the rocks every child would. I would never eat them. Never, ever. Never even put them in my mouth once. You Liar! No! Five-year-old shift. Mommy, can we go hunting dolphin for sport? When you're old, that's for you. I didn't get a white one, I got a grey one instead. Oh no. This plays out. I'm sure it's fine. Yeah. Oh, this guy's on like a track. Ooh. Moving parts. So it's like this. Huh. Interesting. I have no idea what this is. Uh -huh.
That's why I put it on the hook. Has to be put on off. Oh. So much rocks again. There we go. It actually went on. So now this is Yay. locked. Yay! Why was it a move? Oh, it's. We'll see. Alright, cage. I was just thinking though, I was like, it is a little bit loud. <clears throat> you are smart. You are Mr. Bitch. Smart. <sighs> I am, are you? I woke up at 4 a.m. this morning panicking, thinking that I was late for work. Uh, and like got uh, out of bed, came into this room, started putting my shoes on, and then was like, wait a minute. It's Sunday. <laughs> Back to sleep. <laughs> the worst. <laughs> uh, I'm glad you got back to sleep at least. Yeah, I'm still just so tired. I'm just like, uh, wish I didn't. Dude, last week on Pokemon Sleep, I I got my Snorlax to like massable three, and I was like, holy shit, I'm really yeah. optimized, I guess. But I forgot that I used the good, good camp tent set uh, thing that week. Said this week I've only gotten to like Ultra One. <laughs> like, no. You'll get there. <laughs> my poor I mean, boy, I've understood my, him. <laughs> my um on the on the main island, I can get to like Master Ball 15 now without needing a good nice. time ticket. Just by leveling. Yeah, I took like a and shit. I think I played a bunch for the first month it was out and then I dropped it because it was annoying to um set up my phone like that. But now that it has um smartwatch connectivity mm. i don't have to like do that with my phone now so it's a lot easier to play yeah matt and i have been ever ever since like it was in beta matt and i have been using it yeah like, since day one it's been really great honestly the best yeah. part about it is that i've not i think i've spent a little bit of money on it because i was like i'm really yeah. enjoying this i want to spend some money on this but like yeah. i've not needed to spend money on it at all no, I've noticed that as well. Like, even if I like did spend money on it, it's not gonna like significantly increase my progress or anything. Mm. I'll just like make a couple of things easier if I really want it. Yeah, it's great, honestly. I really like it. Plus, it's yeah. it's. I mean, it's just fun. It's good. I'm glad it. Exists. It's nice to wake I'm, up. Yeah, and it's see nice to. Pokemon. Yeah, it's of all the things to gamify. I think sleep is a fun one. Yeah. Especially because it's like fairly hands off, but also you can get into the weeds of it and get like crazy with optimizing it and stuff yeah. if you really want to. I do, which get, I find there, interesting. There are some people who like min max it, and I'm just like, what is fucking yeah. you? <laughs> Where they're just yeah. like, you have to. You I know, mean, some people are just like that and they enjoy IVs it. IVs and 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 do this and sleep a certain way. Yeah. And there are people who like try and cheat and and earn 
you know how it goes out of a score out of 100? Yeah. Every time you sleep? There used to be a glitch that would let you sleep twice in a day and earn more than 100. Yeah. And, like, people oh, were trying to abuse that to get, like, higher levels and shit. I'm like, why? Yeah. Why are you trying to do this? Like, min-max to get, like, more Pokemon? Is What's the point? The point is to, like, enjoy, like, make sleeping a little bit more fun. To try and encourage yeah. you to sleep better. Like, you can't you can't say that to Pokemon fans. They're going to be like, no, I'm going to min-max it. <laughs> this cute little kid's game, I will be min-maxing it. <laughs> Thank you so much. I just feel like Pokemon fans don't know what fun is. Yeah. They're like, no, I'm enjoying Scarlet and Violet. All I do is grind raids all day, and I get frustrated. But I love, I love it. I'm like, you don't. You're Point not is having a big fun. number. I know you're not. Get those cute Pokemon yeah. out of the way. Yeah. What have happened to like? We we all watch the same fucking Pokemon anime where the whole point was Ash was like, any Pokemon could be powerful. Yeah. And then the whole point is like his sure. rival is always like, no, I want the perfect Pokemon or whatever. I'm like. I know it's like not technically true in the games if you're going competitive and shit, but if you're just playing for fun, relax. So what you're saying is the Pokemon anime is propaganda to get people to not go for really strong Pokemon because then they'll be easier it's to It's propaganda beat. for It's propaganda for people to enjoy playing Pokemon by picking Pokemon that they like. No. Because for the most Impossible. part that'll probably work out. You can't, you can't enjoy playing And then playing ruin Pokemon. the franchise for the rest of their lives because <laughs> they keep on losing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi, Skitty. I have been here. Good morning. <laughs> I, I, I'm like, I, I took a nap. Oh, good. They are nice. For some reason Discord didn't go blue boop. I fun. hate that new fucking tone. It's so bad. Oh, I turned it's it off. It's so bad. Oh, can you turn it off? It can make it's it in the settings. The normal sound. It's for Halloween. Yeah, yeah. I found out. It's a uh, um. I forget where the settings. Can't go exploding. Notif oh yeah. So settings, notifications, and then event sound pack. You can change it to Discord default, which I did immediately. It's only for Halloween, so I don't really mind it that much. But like, I wish they told us. Like I wish it, when oh, I got a notification when I See, when I put up Discord, it was like, "Hey, we got a new event pack." And I was like, "Oh, well, I didn't." Little. They either didn't apparently, or yeah, I like a lot of people notice, didn't. I'm dumb. <laughs> it seems <laughs> <Both are laughs> really likely. It seems like Stop a lot of people here. actually just didn't. Hi, Sod. Howdy, Sod. Hey, what are we doing? We're complaining Hello. about the Discord notifications for the holidays. It's stupid. Oh, I had them all. So, I just I turned them off because I learned that I could do that. They've been off for years. So. How you doing, stud? I mm -hmm. am. I am a little stressed out, but I'm fine. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um. What a. Mm -hmm. How's the. How's the blocks? So this is going pretty good. We've uh, done quite a lot. We're uh, judging by the little progress bar at the bottom of the. Instruction manual, we're nearly three quarters of the way through. Oh, that's fun. That's wild. It's, it's, like it's a, really it's like cute. A... It's, it's like okay. a little completed version of him. He's like... Oh, he's running! Slowly oh, going cute. from one side to the... Focus. There it is. He's oh. slowly oh, going wait, from one it, side here's... to the other. Hey, I have a, I have a question. Not... Yeah? Why is there like a watermark <laughs> of... What? 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 Of a Kowakian lizard monkey? Yeah, why? why? <laughs> Turtle. Uh, because. Wait, wait, wait. No. What is. <laughs> the Kowakian lizard monkey. He's gone. It's a Kowakian lizard monkey. What happened to Chansey? Uh, chat wanted a Kowakian lizard monkey. What, chat? Why would you want that? I, listen, they wanted it. It, it randomly rotates. That? It randomly goes between a Kowakian lizard monkey and uh, Chansey. He's okay, whenever good. it toggles so she's on still there. She's okay. still there somewhere. <laughs> oh no. Just gotta keep clicking it until she turns up. But yeah, no. It's it can be a quacky and lizard monkey. Oh, he's down there now. Oh, he, he moved. Yeah, what are, we, going what are we uh what are we building? Uh BD1, BD. the little robot from uh the Jedi games. Jedi Survivor oh. and Jedi Fallen Order. 
Oh, that's fun. He's back. He's a cute little guy. He's so cute. That looks really cool. I love cool. him. Yeah, yeah. It is. He's my little sun it, boy. The best part about it is um, it has these little joints on Where's it the that like man? allow you to move the legs like <sighs> up and down without it being like a free forming motion. So it's not like they're like dangling <laughs> around. Got it. That's yeah. really cool. Yeah. Oh, boy. oh, if I had read the top of your stream or the title of your stream, I would have known <laughs> what you were building. God, I okay. Reading. <laughs> That's all right, Start. I work in retail. I know that no one reads. <laughs> That's true. Hey, what do you guys sell here? Do you guys know where the Groceries. eggs are? <laughs> yes. Standing right in front of the eggs. Yeah, right. I do. Yeah. <laughs> and have you been, you've been building this for the last close to two and a half hours? Two and a half hours. Yep. How many, how many pieces are, are there? Question. It should Let's have say. somewhere. Um... Oh God! Yeah, little bit. Say on the box. One thousand and sixty-two. Oh my goodness! Nice. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Wow. It's a good time. Mm -hmm. Not the biggest mm -hmm. one I've built. I think the I think the Death Star had more pieces. I should check how many pieces that. Mm -hmm. had. Is is this something that you do to like relax? Oh is, yeah, like, I've always loved okay. building uh, Star Wars <laughs> Lego. Yeah, I like building Lego oh, as well. I'm just, I'm just by buying it. A Star Destroyer or the Death Star? I was looking at some of the Animal Crossing Lego the other day. Yeah, they're really cute. Okay. Oh wait, that's the new Death Star one. Star Destroyer. I need the old Star Destroyer. Because I don't have the new one. <laughs> the Star <at> Destroyed. <laughs> there's Star Destroyer and then there's the Star Destroyed. Nope, that's not correct either. That's a small one. Mine was much bigger. It's a stu stu Dude, I'm fucking exhausted. I got up early. Mm -hmm. I did some stuff for my car. And then I went and played at my store regionals for a long time, and then I came home and I chose to stream for some fucking reason. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. That looks like Did you good at regional? Yeah. It was Yeah. Fun. I good lost job. all but two okay. games. I won four, lost two because I don't know. Let's go. Bad. Yeah. <laughs> it was fun. Okay, the biggest set I've built had like 4,700 pieces. And how long would you, uh, approximately how long did that take? That one, I was like yeah. 12 years old, so it took me about seven hours, I want to say. Three of oh, I which thought you were going to say it's seven years. <laughs> I thought you were going to say seven months. <laughs> I'm still building it. Um, <laughs> it I, I, I spent like, I want to say two, three hours just sorting through the pieces on it. Okay. Because it was in yeah. the days before they numbered the bags. Mm-hmm. I just realized I did this wrong. When I was a kid, that was like the fun part of Logo for me, was sorting all the bits. I was like, this is great. And I had to actually build it, and I was like, ugh. These little tools are fucking great. I'm so glad they provide every kit with one now. Little mm. piece removers. Yeah, I love those. Back in the day, the piece remover for me was having uh, long nails. Yeah. Or teeth. That's how you remove. Or teeth. Finding like an old like gift card. Yeah. Oh, this is the best version of your smart, by the way. This is my favorite. Yes. 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 Yeah. Although, I'm hearing Coconut Mall. Yeah, it's a little bit Coconut Mall. I don't know why it's not changing over. 
Oh, okay. I was like, wait Why a would you maul an innocent there coconut? What did he do to you? <laughs> there it is. So when you're done building it, where does it go? Shelf. On an there. adventure. Probably. <laughs> right in the garbage. <laughs> right over there. Oh. Oh. He's got oh. a spot. It's, this is a bit messy. Oh, I forgot you printed out your kid picks creations. I, I got Star Wars <laughs> RPG stuff here. Over oh, there. Okay. <laughs> With the other Lego. Is that? Is that an Onsta? Oh, yeah. There's a tiny Onsta. Yeah, I have one too. Ooh, and a frogity cat. Like Star Lilith and a frogity <laughs> car. She's back. <laughs> I can't see frogity car without thinking about Bop with the voice changer going. I know, right? God, that was that so was long funny. ago. I yeah. Back. And then that was when Bop was like. 2020, if I remember. Right. Sig toast. Ooh. Commencing toast. Protocol. That was the month when Bop got obsessed with a voice Ooh. changer. <laughs> Yeah, it was my favorite. <laughs> it was a good bath arrow. I enjoyed that. Speaking of baths, we have no hot water in our place right now. Oh, Jesus. Oh, cool. Yeah. Um, the So, like, four days ago, our, old, our, our water heater has, like, a vent that vents out all the hot air. Sus. Um, yeah. And... For some reason, over the past few days, the kitchen, it, the water heater is in the laundry area, which is right next to the kitchen, but there's no door uh, separating the two. And it's an mm. apartment, and it's no big deal. But I'd walk into the kitchen, it'd be fucking hot, like Ooh. a sauna. And yeah. I couldn't figure it out for days. I was like, I don't understand why it's so hot. Like, the, the stove is not on, and the oven is not on. And it turns out the vent broke. So all this hot steam is coming out and just hanging out in the fucking uh, kitchen. Oh. Then uh, yesterday or two days ago, we had gone out for dinner and we came back and the entire floor is wet. Oh. Uh, uh, because not only did the vent fall, uh, but now the water heater has a leak. So anytime it fills up oh. with water to fill up the thing, it just spills everywhere. It's Ew. like a soup. Uh. Uh, <laughs> so that's not good. Uh. Uh, so, so uh, I told my partner, listen, this has to be fixed. We can't, this can't, this is not good. So yeah, they've now installed a, a tankless water heater outside, uh -huh. which is really cool. However, we still don't get hot water until tomorrow. Uh, well, at least tomorrow you hopefully have hot water. That's the hope, because if not, damn, here's what's going to happen. Um, <laughs> we're going to make hot water by burning this place to the ground. Yeah, that would work. No, Although you like probably shouldn't have said that, because now you're not going to get the insurance money for it. Cause... Yeah. Yeah. Cut that. And by, by, by burning this place down, I mean in... Animal in Minecraft, crossing? right? Minecraft, in Minecraft, that's it. Yeah, Minecraft, yeah. that's yeah. the one. <laughs> Boy, if you could burn <laughs> shit in Animal Crossing, that would be. <laughs> that would be sick, game. actually. Yeah, let me let me start going down uprising. my annoying neighbors' houses. <laughs> be a shame if something happened to your house. It's a shame if we all showed up at Tom Nook's house one day, just like. <laughs> the whole town's here, Tom. Get Come back on to the out. People. Timmy and Tommy, you're fine. B bring us, bring us Tom. <laughs> no, they're complicit. <laughs> I don't bring like the implications the of where this is going. <laughs> well, they started by charging like astronomical amounts of rent and loans. They mm -hmm. know what they're that doing. That we didn't even ask for. No. <laughs> they knew what they were doing. Yeah. Yeah, we did get tricked into a contract. Do you He's like, ever... yeah, house. It's all yours. Oh, surprise. You... It costs money. And you're like, what? Oh, do fuck. you ever Just pay off the loan? Yeah. Or does the game continue to give loans? Uh, for oh no, you have to pay off you do the previous one. loan. But like before you can expand your house you're, again. But when does it? Is it forever? Or eventually you can't expand anymore, and they're done. Uh, yeah. There's like a limit to how much expansion you can do. But it's cool. it's like a depending on the Animal Crossing game. There's like 
certain amount. I don't remember how many is in uh, New Horizons, but. Bag and then five. when that like gets hey it bag gets five really let's go <laughs> it's definitely not something you're gonna get done with anytime soon much like a real house loan yeah give it up for bag number five Ooh, ladies and gentlemen and i will say bag number five the... <laughs> <laughs> that's not <laughs> what <laughs> 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 Bag number five. <laughs> no, that's what I'm doing. You guys don't know anything. <laughs> You're referencing a really good song. Chef, we're just we're just normal men. We're just innocent men. Innocent men. Innocent men. We're just innocent men. What do you mean? <laughs> the fucking puppet always reminds me of like um basil brush i'm just fucking obsessed with basil brush when i was like oh. do you have uh. a piece for barney boop, boop. to hold on to no barney uh i don't know if he can hold anything he wants to who's, help who's barney that's barney barney gumble he loves children oh, don't say that while he's barney. naked no no i was like barney is naked <laughs> wrong yeah. wrong barney shoes. okay got it got it got it my friend was on Barney, the show on PBS. <laughs> shut up, shut up, shut up. While shut up, I'm up, holding up, a naked Barney. <laughs> My friend was on Barney once. <laughs> they told the kids I was a Snorlax. <laughs> they kept jumping on my belly. <laughs> I can't do a Barney voice. Was your was your friend? Oh god, what was the name of that other dinosaur? BJ and Baby Bop. That's right. I fucking hated them. Um, I thought they were <laughs> yeah, obnoxious as shit. As a kid, I'm like, shut up. Listen to what Barney says, you fucks. I don't think I really was able to watch Barney as a kid. I don't think it was around on any other VHS. I yeah, I only ever had a, a, like I think my aunt had like two Barney VHS tapes. I want to say. And that was mm -hmm. the only time I ever watched it. And you played it again and again and again? No, I I didn't really want to watch it that much uh, because um, I didn't really want to watch the VHSs that my cousin had because uh, she had like the some Mary Kate and Ashley ones, oh, like awesome yeah. twin ones. And I'm like, yep, yeah, and these are these are not for me. <laughs> I am the cute one. She's just my sister. That's yeah. a real song. It um, is. Did that, you, that, that did you have... reminded did me you... of my childhood. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was literally like, what? <laughs> my, so, <laughs> let, let me give you a glimpse of what it was like for for me and my sisters growing up. Stuff. <laughs> my sisters let me take were a very seat. much. Let me get this tea <clears throat> ready. Hold on. All right. Go ahead. My my, my sisters were always growing, growing up and were told, okay, my elder sister was told, you're the smart one. And my, my, my second sister was told, you're the pretty one. And they were always, like, fit into those molds as kids of, like, you know, the family mm -hmm. wants us to be this, so this is what we are. My second sister can't be smart. She's pretty. And, you know, my, my, my elder sister can't be pretty. She's smart. Those sorts of things. Yeah, um, that's how that works. So it's like, I, I see that song and I'm like, this is not funny to me. <laughs> this is not cute. <laughs> this is not cute. This is a reminder. <laughs> Because <laughs> for me, I was the quiet one. Oh. That's the quiet. That's the label. That's, that's not. A, why are we trying to label children? Why is that a thing? That I'll be. I'll be honest. Like uh, you, you shouldn't do it. It fucks up yeah, children. It's not good. <laughs> Especially when they're that young, where it's gonna be. A don't do it ever, but like. It's immediately like, like turning your like siblings into competition instead of oh, like yeah. part oh, of yeah. your family. Like that's fucking crazy. <laughs> like, what do you mean? I do this remember sucks. though watching the fuck out of that fucking gimme pizza when it when I saw it on the internet and slowing it down constantly. As is he ate. Whip cream poured like waterfalls. Waterfall. Cracked me up. Something fierce. 
did you have a VHS tape that you would watch again and again as a child? I, okay, you have just reminded me of, <clears throat> so not only did I have a VHS tape, I had three blank VHS tapes as a kid. Mm -hmm. And I used to get, you know, those little dot, like yellow spot stickers, where, like they'd be on a roll. Like yeah. the dog? Wait, yeah, like no. the dog, <laughs> no. They're like little circles, <laughs> little, little yellow circles on a roll. Okay. <laughs> I would, I would put a whole heap of them on. Stickers, Stard. Do you know what a sticker I is? Yeah, I know what a sticker is. I also know what Spot is, and Spot happens to be yellow. I, I did have Spot I dogs as a kid. I, I did have Spot dog, uh, Spot uh, books as a, as a kid as well. I had all of those books. I um, fucking love that kid. Mm -hmm. That, that guy is so cool. The what I, what I would do is, I would take the VHS tape, and I remember, I taped uh, two, it was a, a treehouse of horror i can't remember which one but also okay. um there was a, a futurama halloween night that that channel mm -hmm. 10 did where they played a whole heap of halloween like spooky futurama episodes and i remember i think one of them was the christine parody where it's the car oh hits the Bender Hunger. and he becomes a car. yeah the hunger Day, yeah is that one and i can't remember what the second one was but i used to watch that vhs tape over and over again I wonder if I still have it some. Actually, I probably do. Did you record it off the TV then? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. We, we, yeah, we yeah, had yeah. The, the VHS recorder set up with the TV and everything. Yeah. It was good times. Man, that, I still that. have that VHS player too. I stole it. <laughs> Those were the days because I don't, kids don't have that anymore. Now everything is so instant. Yeah. I, I remember you know, when we I, got our, um, uh, uh, dv recorder the one because mm -hmm. when we went from analog to digital in australia you had to get a set top box for your tv to be able to access tv still and most of them came with like really basic recorders of like you could record 10 shows or something 10 episodes of a show and i remember mm -hmm. like when Emo. i turned it on Woo. and and like got it working and it was like oh it's hit record and i'm like oh i guess i have to wait until it airs and then i hit record just like a vhs tape and then it was like mm -hmm. no you can just schedule it and i'm like what what i can like i can be out and it records mm. what it was a game changer for real an absolute game changer i spent oh, the cool. entire day like looking through the, the the tv guide to find what was TV on guide, yep. yeah yep <laughs> you're like oh my god i want to record this i want to record that i found every <laughs> anime that was on public television and i set it to record <laughs> we got vampire it's, night it we is got wild Pokemon that Diamond and Pearl. i think that was it maybe dragon through... ball We've lived through so many technology, techno, many changes in technology. God damn it. <laughs> Technological. Um, thank you. That's wild. Cause I remember like, I loved making like mixtapes, mm. but I would have uh, a tape in the recorder and I'd be listening to the radio. Mm -hmm. And when I heard a song that I liked, <clears throat> you had to hit press and play and record real fast. Otherwise you're going to miss it. And this was also back when radio stations didn't tell you what the names of the songs were so if you didn't know you just didn't know there was no there was no um shazam and all that shit and now you can hum into a phone it'll tell you whatever you want technology is wild man yeah i will say i it does feel like a lot of the joy of having to put effort into something of like making these things is just kind of gone because why would you go out of your way to do it the harder way? But there is like a, a joy in like crafting something like that manually. Mm -hmm. That I don't. It's kind of a bummer. Isn't really a thing anymore. Cause like you, yeah, you can make like Spotify playlists, but that's not the same thing. I don't know. I mean, listen. If you made me a mixtape, I'll take it. I can't play it because I don't have a you know a cassette player, <laughs> but. <laughs> You, listen, you could even buy a you could buy a blank cassette tape, write mixtape on it. I would never know the difference. Be like, Whoa, wow, you really put some time thanks, and effort. Man. Sweet, sweet, thanks so three. much. That was Splatoon three. Stop, you actually <laughs> you actually just reminded me. I still have all my CDs and stuff from when I was a kid. And one of the ones that I remember. Binder? I, well, yeah, I had. Of course, I had yeah. a big binder. Come on. But um, one of the ones that I have was my very first mix CD that my dad made for me when I was like, oh, I want to say like that. five years old. And I went listening through the songs the other day and I actually, I need to put this in so you can see what songs are on it. Because it is kind of wild. I forgot what songs were on here. Uh... 
back when you put like 12 or 13 songs, depending on how yep, long Yep, that's they were. all that would fit on it. <laughs> I want to say this was 2003, I want to say. So try and figure out what songs would be on it from 2003. For, for, for a child in 2003, mm-hmm. who is like, oh no, I would have been even younger. I would have been like four. <clears throat> so this would have been like 2001. Let's see. Hang on, let Top me... Top songs of 2001. This is going to be fun, because I, I, I've i been meaning to, like, show this on stream, because Matt and I went through it together the other day, because I was like, mm-hmm. Vicky, you need to listen to what's on this. Uh, Bootylicious was popular. Mm, okay, uh, it's not... I don't think that's on there. <clears throat> okay, um, how about Lady Marmalade from Moulin Rouge? That is on there. I believe that's on there. <laughs> um, okay, okay. Hang on. Let me... Does this have another dog? Oh. Okay, so the Cat Empire's on there, of course. But that's... I believe the Cat Empire is more of an Australian thing, so Americans may not know about the Cat, Cat Empire. Empire! I was gonna say! Um, so got, um, uh, okay. Hello. Oh, okay, um, I like this. Wait, I'm Turning gonna, Japanese. I'm gonna... By, okay, um, really? That you can tell it? the type of music my dad was into because a lot of this is just music <laughs> my dad liked. Um, okay. Oh yeah. So it there's going to be a lot of like late seventies, early eighties rock and alternative rock on here. Okay. I'm guessing more than a feeling by Boston. No, that was more my mother. Uh, uh, switch by Will Smith. Yeah, oh wow! <laughs> yeah, when that song came out. Yep. Hey! <laughs> Hollaback Girl <laughs> by Gwen Stefani, of course. Yeah, that's my shit. That's... <laughs> oh, that's right. Oh, oh shit. Good. Damn. Yeah. Your dad's so cool. Feel Good Ink, of course. I mean, yep. If that's not on a mixtape, then it's not a good mixtape. Uh, don't funk with my heart by the Black Eyed Peas. My I, was a, <laughs> I was a child. Dude. Monkey Business by the Black Eyed Peas Rogue... was the first album I ever bought with my own money. Uh, Voodoo Love Child by the Rogue Traders, because of course I'm a strong oh. My um, first woman crush, Natalie ben- 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 Thinks Field. Natal- Natasha. Oh, oh god, wait, I need to I find love with her. how did I find the metadata for this? Because I swear I found it somehow. You are my voodoo child. You just right click on properties. That's what I'm thinking, but it's... maybe you have to load it into iTunes. It right? might be too old for it to have proper metadata <laughs> on it. Too oh. old. <laughs> too old. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Mm. Oh my gosh. Oh. Katie, what's going on over there? I don't want to sneeze anymore. <laughs> we say too old. And... <laughs> so, 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 so. I don't want to sneeze anymore, oh, man. I don't want to sneeze anymore. I don't want to do it. Just I don't remember this. It. <laughs> this sounds vaguely familiar. Wait, listen. I don't know if it's right. I'm tossing, turning. It's hard work in the morning. Oh. Oh, what's it called? It makes me weak. I'm feeling hopeless. Oh, I'm missing Jesus. That's that. Wow. That is definitely from the 2000s. Yeah. Uh, if it, this is the most 2001 RB song I've ever heard in my life. Woo. Who doesn't love accordion? I mean, it's more Black Eyed Peas. Oh, okay. That's why I knew it. Oh, no, 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 you had a bad day. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Uh, Let's see, bad Uh, day. Whenever, whenever. By Shakira, of course. Whenever, whenever. Uh, The last four. Did I hear you right? Cause I thought your chance were right. I don't remember that. I, 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 I,
genuinely don't remember this. Delta Goodrum. That's like fifty percent emo, fifty percent dad rock. I think this is Delta Goodrum with someone else. Yeah, that's Delta Goodrum. Of course, had to have. Love her. Had to have this. Had to have Carol. Oh her. yeah, yeah, roses. Gotta love. Gotta love. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Take on me by Aha. Uh -huh. Of course. It was like one of yeah. the only songs that my mum and dad agreed on. <laughs> and of course, of course, Outcast again. My baby don't pass away. <laughs> hey, uh. But yeah, that, that was the mixtape. Also, I think Murder on the Dance Floor is on here somewhere. Um, Murder on the uh, Dance Floor. I, man, that movie was like, whatever. It was like maybe a 6 out of 10. But thank God that it exists. And now we brought Murder on the Dance Floor back so hard. That she came and performed it at that one show in the BAFTAs or whatever. <laughs> that one show Thank in God. the BAFTAs or whatever. But yeah, Listen, that's that. That was my mixtape as a child. Was. Um, that was fun. That yeah. is that's very cool. Uh, I basically whenever I would get in the car with my dad, um, he would so always beautiful. connect his phone up. Uh, you know, <clears throat> as mm -hmm. as we got phones with movie with um, uh music capabilities on it he would always connect yep. his phone up and it would always start playing he he never connected it properly to where it would automatically shuffle on the first song it always shuffled mm -hmm. after the first song so every time he would turn his car on i would hear about a girl by fucking nirvana <laughs> <laughs> so every time his did you have um that's cool honestly did you have a tape um adapter? oh yeah we we okay. had a tape mm -hmm. deck in our in our old car and we didn't listen to much music on it. The only music we did mm -hmm. listen to it was a Wiggles tape that got stuck in yeah. it and we couldn't <laughs> play it anymore. And I remember I was a child oh. and was fucking Dad. bawling my Devastated. eyes out because we couldn't listen to the Wiggles yeah. uh, tape anymore because it was stuck. Did you try in. wiggling it out? Oh, you, you little <laughs> hot potato, you. I removed Stod. <laughs> I removed Stod. <laughs> I put start on the quark quark out. You guys oh, are shit. dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't me. <laughs> what did you know it was me? <laughs> what was it you just said? Shit again? You said I just moved start. They'll never know it was me who moved start to the quark quark out. It's a movie too. Oh, Shiv's, Shiv's oh, talking Tuesdays. about Saltburn. Saltburn. Yeah. Yeah, the movie that was. There's a great scene yeah. at the Not end. Not great. <laughs> I won't spoil it, but there's a great scene at the end where Barry Keegan is, is dancing to that song through the Honestly, house. if you ever get urges to watch Saltburn, just watch um uh. Just watch that it? scene. No, just watch the Fantastic <laughs> Mr. Ripley, instead. Yes, it's a, it's a better version of it. It's a better um, version of the movie. Yeah. It, uh, yeah. I just remember watching Saltburn and being like, being like, "Am I gay? I don't know. I think I'll kill this guy." It's great. Yeah, everyone goes through that. Wow, I killed we will be through it. They spaced out. What is happening? Nothing. I'm building Lego. Don't watch I made Salt a pun and I was punished. Mr. Oh, star! The repeat offender. Why do you need multiple fenders? Because he plays in a band. Oh. 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 That makes sense. You know, one what we'll do one day off stream is we'll play a music game show. That would be fun. That's what we'll do. Yeah. <laughs> That's some, one of the things I, I wanted to do, but I always worry about getting DMCA'd. I do remember play like watching fucking... Uh, don't forget the lyrics and being like, these guys don't know fucking songs at all. They don't know songs. How do they not know this song? Put me on Wayne. I'll know? do it. I don't know songs. <laughs> oh, Sometimes, like, I don't fucking know shit. I get so stressed out <laughs> that like people don't like learn or like absorb the lyrics to songs. Like I feel like a lot more people than I thought Yorkshire just song, listen man. to music and they just <laughs> listen to like the music and they don't really pay attention to the lyrics. I'm like, oh, what do you mean? I mean, yeah, look at Bruce Springsteen's Lyrics are like fans. the whole thing. 
Eh. Rage against the machine fans. <laughs> it's true. You mean yeah. we're raging against some kind of machine? <laughs> what the fuck? We're just innocent men. What do you mean? I love Trump. Innocent men. Yeah. <laughs> the amount of songs that get played at weddings that should not be played at weddings. Yeah, oh, they played yeah. WAP at one wedding I went to. <laughs> yeah, let's no, that's go. a good wedding right there. That's a good wedding song. That, that was all the. Uh, that's all that's the when you play. People were getting down. That's that's the one that you. That's the one you play off the off the. You know, grandma's going away. <laughs> Grandma's oh, going away. The bottle of tequila's arrived. come out. <laughs> they uh, they didn't they Grandma's didn't wait that long. <laughs> My parents for their wedding, they nearly had their first dance song be um, "I'll Be Watching You" by the Police. Oh. And God. they had multiple friends and family be like, "Don't do that one. Don't just think about what you're song. gonna do. Maybe don't do that one." So they end up doing the song instead. That's like, um, uh, you will make me call your name. No shout it to the blue summer sky. You may never meet again. You know. Oh, that one. I, I, cool. I was like, what song? And then the second you were like, ooh, we'll never meet. I was like, yeah. oh, yes, I remember hearing this at work constantly. Yeah, you will. Bro. I hate that is song. That even, is that the police as well? It might be. I don't here. fucking know. Or... I hear it and I choose. Otherwise, it's some Aussie band. But hunters and collectors. No, the police like go wee woo wee woo. I thought it was wee, Hunter and Gilder. They also did the Holy Grail, which yeah, I that was really Monty like Python. <laughs> <laughs> they did the Holy Grail. Huh. <laughs> Holy hand grenade. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Stay with me by Sam Smith at weddings, yeah. Ugh, any Sam Smith You homophobes song. know what that song's about, right? I you know what that's about. You know what he's talking about. Have I, I told you how much I hate Sam Smith? <laughs> I really hate their music. What? <laughs> I hear their music and all I, I, like I hear Sam is, Smith. I'm a pretentious git. No! Sam's nice. He's... I saw him twice in one year once. The only, he, the only um, song of theirs that I like is the like fucking um, Bond theme that they did. For, uh, really good Spectre. Bond theme. It was pretty all right, but then you know, <sighs> I like they that have other songs music. that they did recently. It's like oh unholy, oh unholy, yeah. the song that is literally like just a chorus and nothing else, and it's so clear awesome. that all they wrote was a chorus. Yeah, it's great. I like it. I fucking hate. Unholy. That's pop music, baby. That's fucking pop music, baby. All you need is a chorus, baby. I resent that need. as someone who knows that good pop music exists. Yeah, you're right. Carly Listen Ray to Jepsen Carly Rae right Jepsen, fucking Chapel Roan. Hell, even Sabrina Carpenter. That's my wife. Some good shit. Camaraderie. I mean, camaraderie. <laughs> Where art thou? Why not the concrete? I th for a second I thought Katie was in the call. <laughs> I, was, I swear That's to God. That's my Katie impression. Mm. Katie's busy being. The thing a is, if I had an American accent, I think <laughs> I think we would sound the same if I was American. Did I speak Are up in American? my doors? No. Secret American identified. No. Sir. No. SCP no, contain. I'll pause. We're gonna we're gonna have no. to revoke your Australia. No, please don't. <laughs> I like living here. I'd rather not leave. It's okay, nice here. My cat lives here with me. All right, well, okay, let's leave. cancel, cancel, cancel the move, everybody. She wants to stay. <laughs> Never mind. She wants to stay. You, she you motherfuckers think I would want to move to America? Maybe. I'd have to fall well, in love really, really we, fucking hard to move to America. Don't fall in love with me. <laughs> All right, I'll try my best. I keep telling you, God. <laughs> this is going to be Stop. so hard. <laughs> Shiv, I'm not gonna no, get a green card. I'm sorry, Stod. I'm too gay. His name is Stod, not. Oh, oh, so you're we can't be together? Okay, well, yeah. thanks for having me. You're also me too old for me. <laughs> <laughs> wow. First of all, Shiv, respect your I elders. I mean, it's true. Second of all, say it louder. I couldn't yeah, hear I you. My ears you. are not great. <laughs> Third say of all, what? I've got to go to bed. Uh, <laughs> yes, I need to, I need to go to bed. It's 8 p.m. <laughs> Let me take my Metamucil and 
Where then again, you can't make that animals? joke because Shiv also goes to bed super fucking early. <laughs> yes, and I'm very sick. So why don't you I have love illnesses. me? <laughs> <laughs> because I'm 27. <laughs> why don't you and love gay. me? I'm <laughs> gay and 27. <laughs> Gay at 27? More likely than you think. Yeah. And Vine voice, I'm 27. <sighs> God. You know the Vine. We've all seen it. You know the Vine, Sod, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Sod, you'll like this I... Vine. It's a good one. Hang on. Okay. Roll. Fucking know anything about no yeah, Vine. Uh, Vine, man, Vine was cool for the very short period of time he was there. Yeah, Vine, honestly, yeah. Vine Sorry, is this is a YouTube things, short, but... Vine is one of those things that everyone is like, man, I miss Vine, and what they really miss is the, like, 10 or 20 good Vines, and they forget that mm -hmm. every yeah. single other Vine was just loud noise. It was a really, really interesting app to be on, because, like, it was pre-algorithm. Um, so, like... <laughs> what the fuck? You kind of did have to sort through the shit to find the good stuff, but when you found the good stuff, it was, like, really good. Yeah, that's it. Do you like it? <laughs> that's... This is like the one benefit of me being 27 right now is that all the time I'm like, I'm 27. <laughs> maybe, maybe I am, Matt. Oh. Babe, happy birthday. Oh. I'm 27. Oh. oh my god. I think my favorite vine is still the... Uh, I brought you frankincense. Judas. You. I brought you yeah. murder. Murder. <gasps> Judas. Judas. <laughs> I still have it bookmarked. I have the actual Vine page bookmarked, and you can still yeah. go to it. It's I'm s I'm glad that there's like the Vine like archived. I don't know how they did the archive, but I'm glad that they did it. Well, I'm glad that Elon Musk hasn't realized it's still because he'd probably turn it down and deactivate it in the name of uh, saving money. Yeah. Yeah. Stupid so, idiot. So not Jesus. In no, the name of Jesus. In the I name never of Jesus. Had, Jesus. I never once did went on Divine ever. I've never been on that. I didn't have an account. I, I did not. I think I yeah, got, I didn't have. I got on because I heard that Bo Burnham was posting on there. And I was like, oh, Bo I Burnham like posting? Because <laughs> he was not posting anywhere at the time. It, it, except he was just making vines. And some of them were pretty good. They're all puns. I like the one where he's like, Jesus, pass me the water. And he throws he turns a bottle of wine. He's like, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> the other really good one is him going uh, like on funny. a piano just going like is there anything better than pussy yes a really good book yes a really good book <laughs> <laughs> and then he just stares at the camera yeah oh, that man's yeah, funny. The, really good book. the jesus one he's a good guy let's see back to the living room here we go I was gonna say, it's Are you just gonna look up Bo Burnham TikToks now? <laughs> yeah, yeah the Jesus. <laughs> you Jesus. Uh, Jesus. Can I get a large oh number three? <laughs> that's a balloon, that's a three. <laughs> Man's got that humor down low. Oh. oh yeah, I've got 69 cents. You know what that means? <laughs> I don't have money for chicken nuggets. <laughs> I hope that guy's doing well. I haven't seen him since Vine. Bo Burnham? If... <laughs> no. Um... I was oh. gonna say if, if like Bo Burnham fine. is fine. <laughs> he's saving Vine's... Phoebe Bridges. He's, he's having a great time. If the Vine statistic is anything to go by, he's probably a sexual abuser. <laughs> Damn. Bum, 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 bum. Get get him. How many Vine people burn. from Vine have turned out to be shitty people? Dude, I really thought we were like, all sense. right, we've we've found out all of the ex Vine people who are predators, and then the Cody Co stuff came out, and I was like, oh my god, womp, womp. stop! Enough! It never ends. It's so insane. <laughs> yeah. Enough. I like I'm gonna munch and gonna crunch. Big K. Fun fact: the person who made that Vine is fucking transgender now and she makes really good music everyone follow left at london
Oh, it makes me making me make some real small finicky shit. Robots are, you know, in disguise. Get him down from there. It's dangerous. <laughs> what was that? That's them transforming. I thought that was Donald Duck saying, like, robots in disguise. <laughs> and Starscream is like, what did he say? <laughs> oh, my God. He's dead. Me, Starscream, are now the leader of the Decepticon. <gasps> Did I say me saw scream? I saw scream. Oh, what the hell? Scream. It's tiny. It's a tiny, it's a tiny oh, baby. That's so cute. No! That's what if you also had to build that? Too deep, too noise. <laughs> Barney is kind of small. I'd, I'd kill myself. Don't eat him. You ate him. I ate it. Oh him. my god. I gave no. you a cookie, but I ate it. Dude, I know the person who made those. Those comics. Are they okay? I know them. Um, not really. <laughs> get a new <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> I, don't I don't feel bad talking about it because they talk about it publicly, but they're like kind of been in and out of the psych ward, unfortunately, the past couple of years. Mm. But they're doing better than maybe like five years ago or so. I met them at like a, um, a zine fair. They're very nice. Ooh. More like those zine. fucking comics haunt me. And I'm like, I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> Yeah, I used to do zine fairs. I used to be cool. Uh, zines. What happened? Uh, I, I got chronically you ill. You turned 27? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. I turned 24, and I was like, I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> uh, fucking, I think you should leave it. I don't want to be here anymore. Really? I don't want to be here anymore. You mean like in the makeup? I just don't want to be I could just, here I just anymore. ran out of shit to make zines about, and I was like, well... That's all right. I wasn't making hey. any money doing this anyway. I just got burnt out. Hmm. Yeah. I think I made burnt like a real thing. I don't know if I was burnt like out or if I was just like, I had like four things that I wanted to make zines about. Mm. But I did more of like the DIY handmade stuff. And yeah, I did doing more like, like art books. That was crazy. I, I don't know how you didn't get burnt out doing that sooner. <sighs> if it were me, I would have gotten burnt out after the second one. Because I'm mentally ill. Yeah. Hey. Me too. Whoa. Whoa. Are we all mentally ill? That's crazy. Oh my god, he looks has a face. He's uh, I don't know if this is his face. I don't know what this is. I think no, it looks like a face. Uh, it might oh be wait, it's his eye. Right? Yeah, this is his this is his head. Yeah. Oh he's so cute. <laughs> oh my god, he's gonna be like nearly life size. That's so cute. Yeah, actually he will be. He's come I thought it was size. gonna be a little smaller, yeah. Uh, What's life size for you? Life size. Well, equivalent to what right. he looked like in the in the game. Uh. Compared to. I said life size. Castle. Yeah, you said life size. <laughs> oh. <laughs> life size is my favorite movie with Tyra Banks. It's the only movie with Tyra Banks I can think of. I'm sure she's been in other movies. Movie. Let's let you know what. Let's find. Let's go on IMDb. <laughs> I already ugly. But oh, what do you know? She was in Suspiria. Oh, there was a life that size two. Oh yeah, she was in. Ki Ew. I remember Coyote Ugly. Twenty eighteen. She was in Halloween Resurrection. She was in Eight Crazy <laughs> Nights. What? Dude, she was in the Tyra Banks show. I'm s no no oh no. Ex God. Stop everything. She was in Eight Crazy Nights. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> As Victoria's funny. Secret Gown. <laughs> that's a movie I saw. Okay. I didn't pay for it, but I saw it. It's a technical file. That's what it is. <laughs> she wasn't shake it up. That's slay. Hey, Gossip Girl. Okay. XOXO. Okay. Gossip Girl. Why does Gossip Girl have a five point six? That was a good movie. Gossip what movie? Girl. Good movie. What movie? Um, life size. Well, life size was a good movie, movie because it it was good for the generation it came out for. I think objectively, if you look at it now, it's probably no, not. I disagree. <gasps> How dare you? 
You I'm well, starred in every watchlist. other critic, apparently. Mm -hmm. I feel confident that even though I haven't watched it in like 10 years, it's so good. Okay, you I'm gonna go watch it right now. Last time I had this much yeah. confidence in a movie still being good, it was Madagascar, and I rewatched it and it was really bad. <laughs> it was like horribly, oh, really shit. freaking bad. And like not even a little bit, bit funny. <laughs> I, watched that, I watched that movie so much, I, I somehow like nearly broke the DVD because it wasn't even on VHS, but like the DVD was fucked. Oh, shit. I just watched it over are, and over again. Are you somebody that. It's, it's funny you say that because like back in the day i had like a family guy dvd that i would put yeah. on to go to sleep and then i'd yeah. wake up and the menu would be playing it again and again and again did you ever do, are you somebody that has to have noise to go to sleep and if so what type of background noise if any do you do as an you, adult did you yes mm -hmm. call in now and when tell I was a kid, us today. We, did, we never had tvs in our room <laughs> Like ever, <laughs> which is probably not a good, a bad thing. Do you need noise to sleep? Tell, call up now and tell us. Yeah, the call lines this. are open. The lines Start are open. Give them Come the number. Out. Yeah, it's uh. One eight hundred, hot and fun. That's my no, number. That's the sex line. line. <laughs> that's it. I oh. mean, that number works. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, contact with Seraphim. Okay, yeah. uncultured. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Hold on, I'm getting a phone call. <laughs> Dude, got him. High five. Hey, hot and fun. How can I help you? <laughs> he, t he turned it around. He's the he's the guy on the other side. That's funny. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. This is the wrong um, piece. At the moment, I fall asleep to uh, I just shuffle the best of the worst uh, red letter media videos oh those boys oh, i'm so excited to watch the fucking jack quaid one tonight me too compilation of every it's gonna be line so much fun. has ever said the go to sleep too have some Ooh. wild fucking two, dreams two hours of shitty halloween movies God gam me. explains kingdom hearts to barry stream <laughs> i can understand a few people have told me that that they go to, to, that. to which i'm like yeah i know i watch you um <laughs> <laughs> you sleep very well. That's good. You don't snore anymore. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> I did know Brian Cranston was in Madagascar 3. That's pretty rough. I don't think I ever saw Madagascar 3. I saw I the second saw one. You saw the first one. Did you watch Penguins in oh, Madagascar? I saw Madagascar 2. I no. It in the show. But I want to. It looks good, actually. The penguins are definitely the best part of those movies. The penguins are definitely the best, but they were the best part of the, the fucking yeah. DS game as well. Mm, the what? The I DS game. You know what? I had a Madagascar game, but I think it was on the Wii. I vaguely remember it. I remember it being really hard. Is that the unusual like... presence of my inviting you into my room by playing <laughs> the video on my phone? Yeah, it's like the <laughs> ring, but instead of seven yeah. days, it's just me going like, hey. You finish watching the VOD and I just go, hey, how you doing? Can I come in? <laughs> I remember the first time like, I quiz. come in. <laughs> <laughs> you got anything in the fridge I can eat? I'm hungry. You got games on your phone? <laughs> <laughs> you cut the rope on that. I love cut the rope. You cut the but rope too. I left my phone at home. Cut hey, where's too. my water? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> can you give me I cut the water? <laughs> Please. Oh boy. One of my favorite things that girls do is when they're like, Can you give me a little water? Even though they they could get up and get it themselves, but they just want you to do it. I fucking That's hate nice. that. I hate it. Yeah, oh. me too. <laughs> I find it's it really like, cute. <laughs> listen, it's it's cute if it like if it's like, oh, I'm already up, I'll get you some water. But if it's like, oh, I'm a little baby, can you give me it's like go oh, fuck yourself. You're an adult. <laughs> if you wanna Damn, ask me, yeah. ask me like an adult, okay? If you want water, you can either get it yourself or yeah, if, treat if, me like an adult. I don't like baby voice. I'm not your parent. I like, I prefer like, uh, when it's just like, mm. hey, I'm tired. Nope, that's baby that's voice. That's still baby voice. <laughs> 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 no matter how you phrase this shit, now. it's going to be baby voice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe you it's can't just it's get like, out of this without, it's, it's going to language. be baby voice. <laughs> my love language, language is like, is access service for sure so like it works for me 
Mm. I'm like, yes. This little cop says I love you in it. I'm taking notes. For when like, when she eventually a, says yes bid. to you, Stod, right? Yeah, let me let me get my typewriter. I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Is that Viz clocking in or Star's typewriter? We'll never know. <laughs> right, what do you think in the comments? Um, <laughs> I do find it interesting when people, when, like what people go to bed to, because I, I, I'm not that person. Mm. If I have some, mm -hmm. I used to kind of be like that. Like I would fall asleep with stuff, but then I would like wake up in the morning and be like, man, I'm, I just want to watch that thing. I don't want to fall asleep with it. I want to watch it. Yeah, that's um, the thing. It has to be stuff that I've already watched or have watched like a billion yes. times over. So it's just yep. like comforting and like yep. familiar. Yeah. Or I used to, for like a year, I listened to this podcast, um, which I cannot remember what it's called right now, but it was the literally just like boys. this guy who has like the whole purpose of the pod. Oh, it's called Sleep With Me. Sleep with me. So the whole pers purpose of the podcast is to make you sleepy. And this guy just has like a really relaxing monotone voice. And he just tells like boring stories. <laughs> and it's, it works. That's for like, but only balls. for like a year. You can then tell that. you used to it. And I found it interesting to like actually listen to what he was saying. And then I couldn't sleep. That, that like, guy well, has, that, works for a bit. that guy has a He's story cool. of like someone in his life going like, sorry, I just, I don't know what it is, but like whenever you start talking, I just like yeah. Stop I wonder what the You have like a really are. calming voice, and <gasps> instead of like getting really self-conscious yeah. about it, he was like, "I'm gonna find a way to use this." Yeah, he seems like a really chill guy. I still follow him on Instagram. His name's Scooter. Yeah, oh. Oh. his, his still, handle is still Scooter. Still Scooter. The, there's only one Scooter yeah. I know of that hasn't turned out to be a dickweed, and that's the Muppet. So I'm I'm, I'm now cautious <laughs> of this man. <laughs> yeah, I know. When I found out his name was Scooter, I was like, Ooh, but he seems all right. Met more than he hasn't had any kind of controversy. Scooter? So. Not I've met Matt, a few, but definitely. I, I've heard of a few Scooters. and The one that always comes to mind is Scooter Braun. Who's they make a lot of noise. Bastard. Mm. Motorized Scooter? Do a kick flip on a scooter, <laughs> so what's the point? You know a kick I miss flip on a scooter. scooter a It'll just bit. hurt. Kick. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Just hurt. Just yeah. hit Trust your me, Achilles I've, tendon I've, and be like, I've okay. Yeah. All you I did with my razor scooter was hit my ankle. Dangerous oh, ankle. Yeah, right in the ankle. No, it just right swings around. You're like, heck, ah, fuck. <laughs> and I was a clumsy kid already, so. Oh my oh, god. Oh damn! Did you ever have a ripstick? I fucking no, loved my ripstick. No, I never was able to use those. I was uncool. Oh, really? <laughs> I, I, I well, actually, more, I was more I wasn't terrified into like the original them, version, so I never did. Um, yeah, fair enough. I, I I didn't like the original version, but we had we ended up getting ones that um instead of like had like an axle in the middle, it was just like an a big solid piece of like bendy plastic. So it means like you have like less maneuverability, like it was less good for tricks, but it was also mm. easier to ride. So I would just mm. like ride around the neighborhood, go to friends' houses on it and stuff. You could go pretty fast on them. I was surprised. Because you don't have to like push, you just wiggle your legs. Like only right. asleep to voices of the void gave me weird. <laughs> oh no, that'd be bad. Stop! Why are you typing? What do you like to listen to in chat? Not tell us. Oh, because I was trying to interact with the chat and not interrupt. Unbelievable. Fuck you, chat. You can interrupt. <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> tell Shiv to shut up. Otherwise, I'll just I'll just be like bah, 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 forever. But Shiv, I enjoy the things that you say. <clears throat> you just interrupted Shiv to say that. <laughs> what the hell was that? Sorry, I'm having condensed milk coffee right now, and it's um, <laughs> not settling well. <laughs> Using the dark sciences. Vietnamese. I got a bon me for lunch, so I had to get a Vietnamese iced coffee with it. What am I to do? Not get a Vietnamese iced coffee. You got to get a Vietnamese iced coffee. You have mm -hmm. to. I have to. It's illegal. I don't know when the last time I drank an iced coffee was. It's had to have been a few years at this point. Hey, yummy. I like iced coffee. It's like I got into juice. a habit a while ago of making like a like cold pour over 
every morning. No, it's really nice. Onions, garlic, potatoes, <laughs> Sorry, I'm not like uh, this. Some uh, apple juice. Peppers, so peppers, I was looking at snips, your, your beans, throne lentils, popped up, Dan, so I'm looking oh, at yeah. it. And I have questions. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> the ones that weren't, I didn't add on there have notes uh -huh. saying that I didn't add this. Someone else did. Oh, okay. they do. You're right. Never mind. Okay. So don't judge me. What <laughs> other people put on there. Okay, okay, all right. I'm I wanted it to be because... real clear that I didn't add some of those things. Okay, that, uh, this pink King James Version Holy Bible is kind of a sleigh. Yep. Oh, man. Look, it's 40 bucks right now. Yeesh. Oh, I didn't know LeBron James wrote a Bible. That's cool. Good for him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good for him. Oh, you. Like special edition. Yeah. The what? LeBron James. Although, although I do think the Carl Weezer croissant. Yeah, I was just looking at that. I think that, that, shirt, that shirt is pretty freaking no, cool. Shiv, Shiv, you could rock it though. Like you could rock the Carl Weezer yes, croissant could. shirt easily. <laughs> you know what? Any button up. Uh, like, sorry, it's sorry, true. game. That's the new bit. That's the new bit. The Carl <laughs> Weezer shirt. Yep. Yep. Every time you stream, I'm gonna. I'm gonna You'd be like, where's the Carl Weezer shirt, to that? Oh, it's a either you just buy it or you don't. You don't. Okay. I see. You okay. either buy it or you don't. Oh, why is it $140? Because it's quality <laughs> made. <laughs> oh, it's a nice one? <laughs> it's it's not car. like Where made with from? shitty materials. From what I can All tell, right. it's like you know actual what? care has been put into I'm it. Fucking... Don't, do it, yeah. Don't do it. Don't do it. It definitely doesn't look like an Amazon list. Not for this one bit. day you won't <laughs> one day when you least suspect it, BAM! <laughs> not for this Damn, bit. Call me this <laughs> <show>. <laughs> My you most did. prized piece of clothing is a um Jimmy Neutron. Is a um a rain jacket that I have that has a little croissant on it. It's the best. Because you need to pay a price for power. <laughs> 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 Wasn't it you who added that one on there, Team Nerd? Oh, God. <laughs> I love it. Okay, all right, all right. I think uh, other, like, Finn, Finn is telling oh, I put me these on the wrong that I have to feed him. Oh, Finn, you're so hungry. He's going to die. Yeah, he. it's not like he hasn't had food. It's going to um, waste away. He's never been fed, ever. Never, I know. Oh, I'm such a boy. bad I'm such a bad parent. Poor little Finnegan. Okay, all right, we'll go eat. Jeez. Jeez, you little bitch. God. Is he just but, like uh, looking at you? What is he literally, doing? He wants literally, to eat? I will uh where's my phone? Did I bring my phone in? Um <laughs> yes, I did. Hold on. Uh I will He's take a staring. picture. Being a little baby. Oh, and he sneezed. Um, oh, bless you, Finn. Yeah, he does that a lot. Oh my, oh my god, BD. God. This fucking image He's is so amazing. He's so cute. Oh, yeah! Ba -ba -da -ba. <laughs> okay, okay, Finn. Okay, gosh. Oh, Finnaman. God, Finn I have so many nicknames for your dog. Yeah, I like Cinnamon. Yeah, that's a, that's a good one. That is a good there one. Is. Yeah. Oh, the oh, saddest boy in the world. That is that is a no. boy who has never been fed. Stud, what are you He's doing? Away. I'm terrible. I'm terrible. <laughs> I'm going. I'm doing it. I'm gonna have y'all in He's the background, so but I'm gonna sad. leave this call. I know. I'm gonna. I'm going to feed the dog. I promise. What okay, you, now he's on my legs. Uh, I don't know. I might. I might be All picked right. up by Child Protective Services because apparently I don't oh, feed yeah, my probably. kids. So. Well, I'll catch you later. Whatever okay. that is. Hey, that's cool. Uh, <laughs> help me out with bail. So, yeah, no problem. Snake, there you are. Yeah, I'll bail you out. I have like three or four dollars spare, I think. That's perfect. That's all we need. Now, come on. Have, have fun, everybody. Have fun, Steven. Finn. Kennedy, go out on arm. We'll do. Bye, Bye. Bye. Snake. Good I don't boy. know what to say. You can thank me after Poor we complete the mission. Right. Okay. Wait just a second. You need more than a sword, right? In. I've never seen a dog that looks like a like a big teddy bear so hot like that. All right. 
Now so we should get not so fast. You didn't think I'd let you get there on foot, did you? Oh, this fucking video. That's why you're playing. Sedan. <laughs> what? You no, know, the mileage on this baby's fantastic. How did you even fit that down Who here? Got right in because you can't actually think I'd have you drive that oh, thing. Oh, okay. So you are fucking with me. a one-year protection plan with Progressive Auto Insurance. <laughs> you take this Snake, sword. enough! I don't. We don't have time for this. I'm ready. Okay. That's just. <laughs> Is that another sword? Can't leave an arm. How do you expect me to use three of these things? Just find out it like Zora what? or a One Piece. Dude, look, I don't even really know how to use a fucking sword. I was just trying to be like Zora. Okay. Yeah! Fuck. Just, just give me the damn snake. Can't leave an arm. Snake. No, 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 no. Trust me, it'll work, all right? He's sad to use Gamblo or Doug Parkin. The weapons, all of it. We can't afford to waste our time down here. He's I'm so going. How do you even get that down here? <laughs> Cars don't go in the sewer, snake. That not where cars go! Fuck! Uh, I'm sorry, alright. I guess I just... I don't have any friends, so I, I thought maybe... I would want you to have some. You know, I just wanted to do something nice to you, but, uh, you know, I guess I got carried away. Uh, me. No, no, I'm sorry, Snake. I just... I shouldn't have exploded like that. Thank you for everything, <laughs> man. Still going. Really, I still go Really? How long I is like this? the car. Look, Very. I, uh, I did have one more thing, but... <laughs> It's too much. Not at all, man. I'm Did sure I at least make out at the end? Oh. For you. For wow. Snake, that... it's very nice of you. A cupcake. Thank you. Snake, what's that? If you don't succeed. Okay, but like, what is it exactly? It's if you don't succeed, right? Snake, what is that? If you don't succeed. Snake, <laughs> <laughs> from, from the mouthlet epic style. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> So yeah, there's a hype in new videos. Not for Not for you. I'm gonna click it as well. Piss Peter. I feel like I've... Oh, did it not work? Wait, what'd you do? I tried to redeem a video. Chief, did you break it? It's just showing. I don't know. I did. I sabotaged it. No! <laughs> only, Get out only of the wire, scary. Redeems, though. <laughs> I'm chewing. No! I'm chomping no! down those wires. <laughs> no! <laughs> Slippered them up like scary. <laughs> there you go. My hard earned oh, game points. Yay. Fucking Fucking. <laughs> 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 Probably one of my favorite genres. I was like, oh no, is that a, is that a show, Mike? Is it gonna be a fucking Joe Rogan edit? There it is. <laughs> it's probably one of my favorite edits. Every together. time. It's just the eight so good. cuts to him just like mouth wide the open. God is in his fucking the, the only like, exception I have to God. using like, like AI voices to make a funny meme hell. is when it's a Joe Rogan bit. <laughs> it's like one of the only move times. It, move it. Cause I have no move respect it. for that man. Yeah, especially when it's like Ben Shapiro or like um, Jordan Peterson going like Dr. Jordan Peterson. What the Jordan fuck P. did you just More say? More like Jordan Peterson, <laughs> am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that actually got me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, I came up with that right on the spot. More like Jordan Small Penis Guy, idiot, doctor. <laughs> PhD, more like pretty uh, little tiny dick. <laughs> if only got I was this witty. Oh my god, he's really wibbling. Oh my god, the way he wibbles and wobbles like he's, he's a, a robot. Wibble, blah, blah. He's so cute. <clears throat> he's like god, a he's wibble. wibbly wobbly. He's got suspension in him. He's so cute. I wish yeah, I had I've a I've got suspension in my disbelief and ain't no one fucking praising me. I thought you were going to say you have suspension in your dick. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I thought does you were that sound like it. something I would say? Yeah, you said dick and I was like, oh no. So the Again? Is a human being. Wait, what is going? On? Something weird is going on. Oh, is it? oh yeah. Oh. I don't think it actually chose it. I think something. Down the stairs and view it. <laughs> you want to do it. Why didn't you put on your head, Mr. Wario 64 man? There's nothing. Wario 64 man? It. No, Mega 64. Wrong one. Mario 64. Rocker. Wahoo. His name's Rocker. Yeah, his name oh, was underneath the video. 
I haven't watched the Mega City 4 podcast in like three years. I don't think I've watched it ever, but I know what it is. It's one of the like, I feel like it's one of the longest running podcasts. I mean, like, that would mean. You've got to be at like at least a thousand episodes by now. You guys have been around a long time. Yeah. I'm glad to see them still around and doing their thing. I think it's cool. I know very little about them. <laughs> I just know that they're like some of the, the, the foundational <laughs> internet people. Oh, did I put this on the wrong end? No, I didn't. It wants me to do it this way. Okay. playing that rogue like thing yeah i've been hooked on a fucking mod pack called vault hunters and it basically turns it into like a progression based rogue like and i'm fucking addicted mm. i was itching to play like a specific kind of rogue like and i couldn't find any games i own that scratch the itch and then i was like I wonder if that would do it, and they tried it, and I'm like, oh no, oh no, <laughs> uh oh, it's very fun. I did have to allocate a lot of fucking RAM to the game though, because it is intense. Why did it sound like a gun? <laughs> I shot him. <laughs> Sounds like someone fucking shot him. <laughs> Pew. These little toe things. Put him on his back. He needs real toes. He needs flesh toes. Yeah, does anyone in chat want to donate their toes real quick? Yeah, <laughs> donate your toes today. To He's help gone. a droid in need. Just, it's just not secure at all. I need to put loot back in his feet. I don't have to. My one criticism of this build. Mm. It's a bit wibbly wobbly. Not in a great way. Like this, these feet are just not real secure. These little toe flaps. I put this. Like they're little one square by one square things, and they just come off so easily. <laughs> they should be more secure, but they ain't. Okay. So what it wants yeah. is. These go in here because they're little back vials. Because that's where he stores them. That's cute. The little sliding drawer. That's adorable. And now for his antennas. Okay, 
and still buddy. Okay, now for the little stand that he'll stand on. Congratulations. error room do I have? I have a little bit of room. I wish I had more room to put up the Lego set, but I, don't, I would need to start buying. I mean, I need to buy another bookshelf soon, but... <laughs> I have so many fucking bookshelves, man. <laughs> Perfect. Pretty straight. boy next to it. Look how cute he is. This oh, it's way too bright. Little tiny. I do want to eat him, I get it. I understand. Please focus on the boy, please. Yes. Yes. Come on, focus. You're please. so close. Well, that's probably the closest it's gonna get. Look, Barry's pointing at me. Oh. I want to wow. see where my I want to see where my money's been going. I want to see where my money's been going. <laughs> you get a present? So we get you present? Someone d got me a <coughs> huge fucking present. Oh! Someone just bought me bless you. my bless you. Someone just bought me my center monitor replacement that I've been meaning to get. <gasps> Yay! Congratulations! Let's go! Jesus Christ! Thank you. I'm surprised. That, has it fully died yet, or is it like just no? It's at the moment it's on flickering. Like if I if I Fun. um, yeah. Let me let me. What's the best way I can do this? I don't want to move that. I have this camera. I'm scared. Let me. Damn. Okay. Oh, that's all. Oh, I accidentally turned off the light. Whoops. Oops. Um. Hello. 
Shit, what did I have it under? Is it is bar is it bad? No, no. It's not as bad as Barry's, because mine mine has lasted a lot longer than Barry's. Barry's was like he has one stream and then it's gone. Mine has been a few months. Um Nope, that's the wrong thing. With it. Has everything gone quiet forever? Oh. Sorry. <laughs> I can't hear anything. What happened? Oh, hello? Now hello, I can hear things about? again. Hi. It changed all my input devices. Oh, so I couldn't classic. hear anything. I was like, why is it going quiet? I love when um, Still Series does that. They did add a new feature so you can make it so it won't change over to certain backup devices if you really, want to fuck with that. Yeah, I, I probably should. The problem is I want it to change over when I'm doing like VR stuff. Yeah. But I could just do it manually. Where is the fucking... Oh my god. <laughs> there it is. I have it in all caps. There it is. Alright, you can kind of see... It's it's what it's this is probably the best oh, state yeah. it is. Where like it flickers like this. Whereas uh this oh, that would drive this me monitor nuts. right now. Um which I've already gotten a replacement for. You can't really see it. Hang on, you see it better if I turn the monitor off and on. Yeah. <laughs> there we oh, go. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's uh the bars. Yeah. it takes a while for it. Thankfully I've got the replacement for this one coming on Monday. <laughs> Because I'm like, oh, that's I good. Okay, so you need your, this your, one. You do replacements. That's good. Yeah, so I, now I have two replacements. Yippee. So thank you for that. Congratulations. Oh, it's not going away. Oh, let me see BD up close. Oh, yeah, I can show you BD up close. There he is. <laughs> Look at that <laughs> BD <beady> boy. <laughs> Dude, they, uh, Star Wars TM over. Disney Marvel could Bully. hire me to make... um robot noises. I'd be really good at it. I wouldn't even have to put my voice through a filter or nothing. He's a good boy. Yeah. His leg I, need to, I need to order my thing. The he really wibbles and wobbles like he does in the game. It's really it's good. Got little Bacta vials oh, in it's there. got a stim packs! <laughs> it's so cute. I think I just broke his feet again. No, I didn't. Don't worry. His feet are no. fine. No! Oh. His feet are fine. He finished. Wait, there's a fucking. Wait, why didn't Throne tell me this? There's a. What? Apparently, there's a a, a a get ten percent off select gifts from my wish list. What? Oh. What wish? What items? Probably Amer Probably none of them. Because uh. maybe it needs American. But that's BD. Uh. Look, I have to. Beepy fate. If I can show you the little. Baby boy. Tiny. There we go. Yes! Oh, he's really cute. It's so oh, cute. Oh, his so stand small. has like this manufacturer model info. That's so cute. This this rivals the, the tiny Mario. I love him. It's this is way better than Tiny Mario. Yeah, the, these these um uh these types of Lego sets always come with these like little placards with like the little information so on them. So cute. It's always really cute. BDS Boy Droid. What? Ignore yeah. the purple spot okay? on the camera. He's yes. so tiny. He's Not like... Looking. Tiny. What? What? I, I don't even know what I have He's for... He's so edible. I, I know what I have for comparison. A fucking D6. Ten cent coin? <laughs> Oh, he's, so, he's only a little bigger than a T6. He's so tiny. Oh, tiny. Super rare droid, isn't it? I, I, I believe so. Like in the, um, in world the of Star universe, Wars. Yeah. Yeah. L I don't actually boy, know much about like the history boy. of different droids. Little in the boy. Big. Big boy. Big. Let me. Yeah, I'm surprised it only took you like three and a half hours to finish. I'm a very quick Lego builder. Yeah, it felt like it would be like a little more complicated though. No, I 
but for these these sets they tend to be pretty small because they segment them into like arms legs head so it's a lot easier right, to do yeah. hi chat look it's you wait now it's you wow hi What's it's wow it's actually easier to read chat on the monitor if i have if i use the camera because the camera fills in the information <laughs> Because every second line <laughs> is not reading for me, so there's like blank lines inside oh. chat. But if I really? use the webcam, it actually fills in those blank lines. Oh. Interesting. Lower FPS than your eyes. Something, something. like that. Hello. Oh, that's that's BD. Look at him. Nice nose ring, fucking nerd. Do you... Just call me a slur. I will. It's, Here that's comes. BD. Look at him. Uh, call, him, call, him cute. <laughs> uh. <laughs> call him cute, chat. Call, call him. BD, you're so cute. You're just a little baby, my best I friend. Push him over. Me too. Cute as aggression. You know, when you like look at your cat and you just want to like turk him out like a little bit. What? Because they're so sort of cute. <laughs> Oh. We I thought you were going to say Willa? push them. <laughs> I didn't realize you would say, I, do you ever just look at your cat and want to choke them out? What? What? You know, whenever you're looking you know, at like, your pets and you're like, it'd be so funny if I murdered you right now. No, 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 no. It's not like that. It's not like that. It's not like that. It's not like that. What if I just curb stomp my cat <laughs> real quick? What if I just like threw my cat out the window? And then what? No, then what I would never do that. It'd be funny. She's my little baby daughter woman. You're the one who wants to kick her. No! Throw I her out a window. Me. Listen. Mm-hmm. We're listening. Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> I do get the urge to take a bite out of my pets on occasion. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that I understand. Yeah. Take a bite, like, out. but that's not like I I want to cause pain to the pet. It's like I want to eat you. I no, I don't. You. It's not that. It's just like oh. Because you're so cute. It's just like, take a bite so out cute. It. Yeah. It's like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, like the the mean picture of like, like squeak squeezing a little guy because you like him so much. Squeezing. Like that. Babe. Scree squeezing. Yeah, no, we get it. We'll we'll have the appropriate authorities there soon. Don't worry about it. Yeah, don't no. worry. <laughs> uh, if, if we, I can dox shit real quick. Um, no, don't dox me. You don't know my new address, you fucking bitch. You haven't visited yeah, dude, me. Yeah, you gave it to me. Seven five three zero nine. Oh. Gotcha. <laughs> so you're gonna you come over them? Or? Kick them like Charlie Brown kicking a football. Yeah, with the police. Remember? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Can you at least can you bring some board games? <laughs> that time where the where all the police came and bullied I'll Charlie bring cards Brown against humanity. <laughs> Your humanity and where the cards. <laughs> uh, anyway, we'll go say hi to Weeb because Weeb's Yay! streaming. I'm gonna call a Weeb stream in a second. This is all great. Right, I think I rated Dan last anyway. What? Dude, dude, Dan. Dan. Can you give Can you give BD a little pat, pat on the head and maybe a little kiss? To me. I, I, I won't kiss name him. And I just got excited. <laughs> no, awesome. what do you mean? Don't kiss him. He's getting a little bit. Soft chips, mom. I have her for a number. <laughs> you leave my mother out of this. <laughs> you She's leave a nice my mother lady. out of this. She's a nice lady. Eh, raid message is just said. gamble on wave if you have it. If if Hi, not, weeb. then just hello weeb. Hi weeb. Hello weeb. BD says hello. BD says, how are you? Bye. Oh, they already left. 